Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table we're going to be playing some more Game of Thrones Digital Edition live here. This is Game of Thrones board game second edition in an official application form uh, on PC. I'm playing uh, and you can get this game on Steam. Uh, it is designed by Direwolf Digital, published by Asmodee Digital. I purchased this game with my own money, FYI. Uh, just so you guys know, some games I get, I, I get for free, some I don't. This is one I bought. This is my favorite game of all time, according to my last top 10 games of all time list uh, that is on the channel. So sorry for those who didn't know. Spoiler again. Uh, but I do like this game a lot, hence I want to stream it again. So I kind of put together this last minute stream uh, to continue on where we kind of left off yesterday uh, in the live stream, which was uh, working on the solo challenges, uh, the solo mode where they kind of set up a scenario focus on a single faction and try to pull out a win in some weird objective time limit based scenario uh very neat i think they did a well job like a very good job on them uh they didn't have to do that they didn't have to put that in the game but i think uh it's great that they did it's a way for experienced players to test themselves knowing a certain faction it's another great way if you know game night's coming up and your buddy told you you're playing tyrell and you want to practice tyrell uh, you can kind of go in there and really get used to the cards, get used to the situations they're trying to test you on for that faction. It's kind of neat that they put that in the game. Uh, and it's a way to play solo if uh, you're, you know, you're, you're trying to warm up to playing online against people in this game or trying to learn it. Not, not only are there tutorial scenarios, but I do like this idea of these solo scenarios now that I've played some, uh, which we went through the Lannister ones in yesterday's stream. Uh, that should be... For anyone interested in the other streams I've done for the game... No, I don't have a playlist link yet. Uh, let me just put a playlist link uh, in the description. Uh, yeah, throw this board game. Play through playlist. Okay, let me just throw that in there just so we have and reference it. And those watching this stream in the future, maybe you find this and you're like, man, no, I want to see him try the Greyjoy ones or the Lannister ones. Uh, this way you can get to it easier. Just have to get there myself. Please stand by. All right. Give some time for others to show up too. Uh, but yeah. Hello, hello everyone joining live. Grab the link to that playlist. Yeah. Go? Did it go? Hey Matt. Um it should be in the video description now. Uh the playlist. If I mean those watching live, you're gonna be watching this. But for those watching this in the future, check out the video description down below. There should be a link to a playlist. Uh, of all these videos for the Game of Thrones Digital Edition, if you're curious on seeing more content or seeing certain scenarios played, I'll jam our multiplayer sessions down there. I'll play some more skirmishes and that kind of stuff. All of it, you'll be able to find that playlist link uh, in the future. Just let me make sure that this one is there. Okay, like it worked. Entertaining, I know. I know, very entertaining. Very entertaining. Uh, we will just get us there in a sec. Make sure it's all of the videos are actually in the list properly. Yeah. Okay. Good, looks good. All right. Thank we're good to go. Stream looks okay. S79. Hey, how's it going? All right, looks like people are rolling in. People are showing up. All right. Uh, so today we're focused on the skirmishes again, like I said. Uh, or not skirmishes. Challenges. Challenges. Woo. So yesterday we completed. Uh, let's get closer here. Yesterday we completed the Lannister ones here. We went through Lion and the Wolf, Tides of Battle, and Battle of Blackwater. So next, 
House Tyrell we're going to go to. So this is today's focus, House Tyrell, solo challenges, uh, neat way to just play against the AI in kind of a, a very, very structured kind of scenario. Wait a minute, will Rob make a typo? <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> I probably did. Yeah, <laughs> Doesn't look like it, but I may have. Anyways, <laughs> it's down there now. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's take a look at Growing Strong. So again, there's a little story to this stuff. So Queen of Thorns says, Renly Baratheon may have as much claim to the throne as a rusty pot, but he has a talent for flattery, and he's agreed to marry my lovely granddaughter. Now it's up to us to round up enough fools who will fight for him. All right, so we are in six-player game. Okay, okay. Uh, our objective is assemble a total land army of 15 or more units. And we're at three out of 15 units so far. Uh, I would assume it has to only include... Like, it can be... It doesn't have to be in the, the hardest sense of an army. Like, it isn't just built up of armies. I assume a solo unit on a single territory counts towards this 15 uh, because we do see there's one guy here in the Dornish Marches. So in my, my head, I think of this game, I think of the word army that's very specific. That means two or more units, including boats and that kind of stuff. Even multiple units in a port can be an army, uh, multiple uh, ships in a port. So army has a very specific meaning in this game, but this in this scenario, we just have to get... 15 footmen, I'm assuming siege engines, and uh, cavalry, knights, whatever, on the on the map in this one. Uh, we start out with three. And we have eight rounds again, just like the last ones to complete it in. <laughs> I, I paranoi myself, Matt, with the typing. I mess up typing all the time. I even like double check things sometimes in YouTube thumbnails. It looks fine. I'm editing it. It looks great. Then I put it. Then I look later, like I, I take a second look, or like right before I live stream, I see the thumbnail, and I'm like, oh man, uh, two letters are flipped. Like my typing's not the greatest, that I know. <laughs> uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. All right, uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, we're slapping down orders. Uh, one thing I want to do, uh, it, like we got to look at some Tyrell cards yesterday, but it's key here. This is like what's kind of unique to the faction, not to mention where you start. And, and what resources are available to you on the map where you start on the Iron Throne track, you know, uh, or on the tracks in general, I guess, uh, is your cards, your house cards. This is what makes your faction like your faction. Because you started with the same amount of ships and, and, and land units and whatnot uh, in, in a general game. Uh, you may have more on the board out of the start based on which expansion or the course that you're playing with. But the core difference between the factions, the asymmetry kind of to the factions that make them unique, is really... The cards is how I look at it. Like you need to know your cards and, and what you can do with those cards. Cause there's, this is how kind of the theme is, is pushed in here and why I love it so much. So for example, Greyjoy has cards that very much help it uh, in sea battles, maybe defending, maybe attacking, that kind of thing. Certain factions are good at defending. Certain factions are good at attacking. Everyone has the same base strength on the cards, a zero, two ones, two twos, a three and a four, but Certain factions will have more abilities. Some of the low-end cards will have really powerful abilities. Some of the high-end cards might have really powerful abilities. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're just focused on killing. Maybe they're focused on defending. Tyrell has some pretty boring cards in the middle here. They're just straight up like some defense and kill. Like they were like an afterthought. But, but, as some of the most powerful, like one of the most powerful cards, I think, is, is the Knight of Flowers in the game. I love this one. This one is a come-from-behind win the game card. I've used this one to go from, you know, third place or something like that in the middle. You're not too much of a threat. No one's really worried about you that much. You know, you're aligned with Martell or maybe you're aligned with Lannister. And this is the card you use to like break that alliance, take those last couple castles and steamroll to the win at the end. And, and you gotta time it. You can't blow this card you can blow it early in the game, but you better do some fights to get it back into your hand uh, and then plan around this card. This is a card you don't just like, yeah, I need a three, I'm going to throw it away. No, lose that battle if this is not the right time to play that card because uh, this card is key. So it says if you're attacking and you win this combat, so you have to win, 
So you have to like set it up so you're supporting yourself. Uh, the enemy's not supporting himself. Use raids if you need to make sure that doesn't happen. But you have to line up that first win or this card kind of just falls apart. And you're not really using it for what it's meant to be. And you can set up that win. You can time it. You can do it correctly. Especially if you're using it against an opponent you've been aligned with the whole game. And they're not really protecting that edge of their, you know, their kingdom, their territories. Uh, they maybe don't have the biggest defenses. They're not really using their supports there because they're more focused offensively on getting other castles or and that kind of thing. And maybe maybe they're deciding to stab you in the back around the same time and they've played some offensive cards, not so much defensive cards. And if you've properly got ahead of them on the Iron Throne track, which is what you try to do near the end of the game, is get higher on the Iron Throne track than the person you're about to backstab so you can get them first because they'll, 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 they'll know it's coming usually or they'll, they'll see it coming. But if you time that right and start planning that three or four rounds in advance uh, and you can strike properly this card you win and then you get to take that march order so this is a possibility of using like four march orders if you've done it correctly and you're able to play the march plus one uh due to being high enough on the uh hex that track called east for crows track raven track whatever you want to call it um if you're high enough on that track you have at least one star you can use that march plus one uh, you're going to have three marches down, use this. You get to move that march order into the area you just conquered and then use it later in the round. So, like, you can steamroll. Like, your opponent, if they're not expecting it and don't have enough set up, this is how you, like, crush through their a territory and then even take their, like, homeland as their, your last castle to kind of win idea. Like, this can really mess with an opponent you're aligned with or you're on the border with who doesn't so much expect it coming and hasn't focused on that. That's how I like to use it. Because you need to make sure everything's stacked in your favor to use this card. This is not a card you just like, hope I'm going to win. Because if your opponent knows you can play this card, they will make sure they throw everything into that battle so you're not getting another march out of it and steamrolling another one of their territories. So, yeah, this is a card you kind of got to just keep your head down, play quiet, kind of team up with your buddy, make them like, you know... When he has to destroy units on the map, maybe he destroys ones beside you because you guys have been working together so well, and this is the card you use for the final strike. Yeah, it's the kill friendship card. That's that's how I like to use it. And hey, Matt, uh, Adam, sorry, Adam's here. Rob, are you playing against AIs? Yeah, we're gonna today focus uh, at least for the first part. We'll see how fast we get through it. Uh, the House Tyrell solo challenges. We did the Lancer yesterday. It was really fun. I kept going through them. I was having a fun time. We were gonna do a multiplayer game, but no one in the chat really was like ready to play. Everyone's working, kind of thing. So I just figure I'll focus on the solo stuff. We're going to try to do a weekend. Maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend. I don't know when when we'll do it. Sometime in the next week or two, maybe longer, depending on bug fixes and stuff for this game. But I do want to play an online game where we get six people. Uh, we get on Discord maybe and do some voice, do a stream, have some fun, get, get silly with it, uh, and play this game. Uh, so if you're interested in getting involved in that uh, and you're in our Discord of producers, uh, get the game, practice, get get in there, because uh, there'll be some cutthroat play, I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's a crazy card. I love this card. This one, the Mace Tyrell, uh, destroy one of your opponents attacking or defending footmen. Uh, great. Love it. This, this card's great. That ability's great. There's always usually a footman involved. But if you're doing it right and you're playing against Tyrell, you know, don't put the footmen in. Uh, or hope they burn this card on a time when you're like, I don't really need to win anyway, and then, you know, and it's gone, you don't have to worry about it. But, uh, that's something key we gotta keep in the math, I think, right? I think that hits before. I think abilities are first, right, if it's text? I think abilities are first, and then you calculate winning and stuff. Uh, but we can check. Uh, I'm pretty sure. The app handles it for me, so I, I haven't had to force, like, remember that. That's, that's one that's, uh... Tricky. And then I got the Queen of Thorns. Remove one of your opponent's orders in any one area adjacent to the battlement area. So this could help get rid of a support or another march that they were going to use against you right after they they failed. Like, you can use this to stop them from coming in and that kind of thing. Um, just somewhere else, one of your territories. These are the cards we have to work with. Nothing too crazy, but I have a feeling in these solo challenges, we'll have to keep these in mind. Like, it's, it's going to want to test us on this. Uh, so we got to be careful. Use those to our advantage. Uh, so let's check the rules and check this quick. I like, like showing how easy and quick this is usually. They basically slap the rule book text in here, but organized it nicely so you can just click through it. Uh, another advantage to this app, not just linking you to a PDF on a website. Like that's one-on-one laziness. I, I hate when apps do that. I like this one where they actually put it in here. 
Uh, so we're we talking about combat again, right? Go here. Let's see. That resolution. Choose and reveal house cards. We need to read that section. Both the attacker and defender now secretly select one card from their hand, uh, hands of host cards. Okay, play the host card. No, oh, mandatory. Oh, here we go. Each player begins the game with seven unique host cards. These represent characters lending their abilities and strength to combat. After players reveal host cards during combat, the text abilities... Of the two house cards are immediately resolved. I thought so. I thought it was before you resolve everything else. Some text abilities specify that they are implemented later during the same combat, such as at the end of combat, but unless stated otherwise, implement, implement the effect immediately. There are instances when the exact order of house card resolution is important. The order of resolution is shown below. Any ignore or cancel text abilities are first resolved in the play order of the Iron Throne track. So being higher on that track matters, matters for like every tie. And they say they say it, it, uh, the holder of the Iron Throne breaks ties outside of combat. But you have to remember the order of the track in general helps you in like little situations like this. So if you're just above your opponent, you're going to win in any kind of like con conflict tie kind of thing uh, like this. Which is good. And then other conflicting text abilities. Oh, we already read that. After the outcome of combat is determined, any win or loss this combat text abilities resolved. But anyways, if you care to know, it goes into more detail. But I, I like the way they put that in here. I can quickly just look that up. And now we know. So destroying a footman with Mace Tyrell happens before we start calculating math. So you can kind of put that into it. And your opponent might not know when they come in with a footman. And, and they, they put that in their math and they think it's all good. They choose their card and maybe forget that you're about to... Uh, a footman out of the, out of the battle uh, which I like okay so assemble a total land army of 15 or more units that's all we're trying to do in eight rounds we we don't need to win we don't need to take castles we don't need to defend an area nothing like that we just have to build up a bunch of land units so we got to take over areas because we are limited by our supply so max right now we can have an army of three two armies of two and then every every other unit would have to be spread out and that that leaves them vulnerable right so we got to have the stronger base around the outside of our territory. Uh, so based on that, mustering is like high value. Let's see where we are on the tracks here. We go last in order on the Iron Throne track. That sucks. Uh, and on... I always forget the names of these. One of them is like the Fiefdom track. Maybe that's the last one. Fiefdom. I always call this one like the Combat track or the Valerian Steel Blade track. But it has a name. I, why do I brain fart on those every time? I played this game for years and I, I never remembered every time I pulled the game out. I could even play the game like two weeks in a row and I never remember the name after reading the rules. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't stick. Let's find out. Let's find out. How do we do this here? Uh, influence tracks. Iron Throne tracks, the first one. Yeah, Fiefdom is as the combat, sorry. King's Court tracks. See, like, I, how am I going to remember that? I don't know. It makes sense. You're in the king's court. These are this behind the scenes, like influencing everything. Fiefdom's track, okay. Yeah, yeah. But everyone like we play with, it's like, we know the Iron Throne track, that's obvious. But then this one's like the sword track, the combat track, the whatever we call it. And this one's like the raven track, the star track, the special order track. Like, I don't know what you can... <laughs> That's the king's court track. Uh, I read it right now and I won't remember it in five minutes. Fiefdom's the middle one, yes. <laughs> Avel says, hi, good luck with Tyrell. I'm a big fan of your videos. Pamela, thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Uh, and Brian Murphy's here. Hello, Rob. And everyone else. Love the last cast for this. But as much as I need to learn this game, please, no risk bashing. <laughs> All right. Thanks Thanks for reminding me. While we're talking about risk, uh, I have something to say about that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <coughs> Trash. <coughs> Trash. <coughs> Sorry, dry down here. Uh, but anyways, I, w I can't compare those games though. Risk, Risk is a game I played that made me more interested in getting this game and into the hobby because I use that to relate this game to it. So, 
Kind of risk is like why I'm in the hobby, kind of. I say it's almost this game got me in, pulled me in, and, and threw me right in. Like, once I tasted this game, but Game of Thrones, the IP, uh, helped me find this game after finding the books. And then I realized when I was reading the rules for this, uh, and before I even bought it, I was like, oh, this is like Risk. I kind of like Risk, but at the time I didn't know board games that well. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry to hear that Matt yeah yeah I got some funny stories of risk too but like yeah it's not I don't know it's yeah I'm glad it exists because a lot of games say wouldn't uh if that's the case but uh or if I was looking at it that way yeah but nowadays I don't know there's other games out there I guess that I would say you know you don't need to play risk there's there's many other cool dudes on a map games that you can play Better designs. Better designs. All right. Um, we need to muster. That was key. Uh, we need to get a unit down here in Old Town. We need to spread out. Get to castles so we can muster. That's key. So get to the reach is, is important, I think. But we have a we have bear unit here in Kingswood being a troll. Uh, Lannister doesn't look too bad. Vera, standard. Yeah, everyone's kind of got the standard start here, I think. Yeah, Greyjoy, not too bad. Stark, not too bad. Yeah, no one's really, like, up in each other's faces yet. But getting to 15 land units means we either, A, hope nobody fights us, and just keep spewing out units, or B, crush their faces without losing anybody. So we got to be careful on certain challenges to know to use defensive cards versus offensive cards. Uh, the other thing is we need barrels. And we do start with two. But the Prince has passed three towers, Blackwater, and Sea Road Marches. Uh, what do we need to get up to? I mean, it'll be easier, obviously, the higher we go. Because then we can concentrate our armies on less territories. But really, supply is the key. Supply is the key then castles like I think that's how I'm looking at it and I hope in this scenario we draw something to reconcile armies before we muster like before we get a muster card of the Westeros deck that's, that's what I hope for alrighty um, hmm. well a Oh, and we're super low on this last track too, the King's Court. Well, that's weak sauce. We're starting, we're starting behind. All right, that's how I look at that. Okay, let's spread, spread out here. Let's spread out. What are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, this guy can help us if we if we take the C down here. This might help us swing around. I think we leave this ship here. Or I could put it in the port for a little bit. Just to build up uh, power. Mm. I mean, it does connect us right now. And uh, let's just... Uh, I don't know. Not really doing much for us here. Yeah, let's move. Uh, we can't move it in. We're not going to move it in. I don't know. Let's let's just... Whatever. Whatever, man. Oh. 
Greyjoy is going on a little bit. This guy already took the reach from me. What a jerk. What a jerk. Yeah, this guy coming down the sea road. There are trolls, man. Get out of my barrels. This is like where I need to go. So. Let's. There's Lanny. Lanny still has a march. I gotta watch out because they can march in here after. So I don't want to do the Lanny march yet. Let's see what Bear's got cooking. All their cards, of course. They were just able to walk right in. Maybe I go to Princess Pass first. Maybe I just go down here. Um, try to get, I don't know, I don't know. I want the reach though. I want the reach. Uh, uh, I'm definitely lower on the track. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Although, hold on, where am I on here? Uh, so I just need to tie them. Okay. I don't know what to play here. Like, it's not super important I win. But, like, it'd be good. Oh, do I do my rolling? I mean... <laughs> Uh, will they play their four? That's the question. Do I just drop my four? Get it out of the way. Like, I don't I don't need to play it right now. But if I fight enough, I'll get these cards back quicker. Yeah, this is nuts. I'm going to do it, though. Gets rid of his unit. Gone. A lot of doing it to Lannister more, they're more of a threat, but just puts Bear out of our hair for a while, if if not the rest of the game, possibly. But we'll see if we go for King's Landing or not. Also, do I go for a condensed army strategy or do I spread out to, you know, work on the sea also? Something you gotta think of early in the game if you're gonna go that route. Um, I want to do this. Do I want to go after Lanny now? Or just get to Old Town? Problem is I can't muster right now with uh, my units. Or my tokens. I need, to, I need to start earning cash to fly up on the tracks really what I should be focusing on. Um, so like, I already have the Dornish Marches. Just go there for that. But let's just get spicy, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, if I'm taking the C, then it's, it's to do little tricks like coming in here and taking Flynn's Fingers, or, you know... Grabbing Castle Black out of nowhere on Stark if they're not paying attention or the Stony Shore. You know, kind of just grabbing extra barrels when you need it or extra just lands that I can throw armies in. Kind of spread out a little more. But I feel like I gotta start poking neighbors here. Let's try it. What is Lannister actually? Oops, wrong one. Lannister. Play their two. I don't know. I don't think they'll go with their four already, but let's see what happens. I mean, I, I am down a power, uh, or down a strength, because if you win this comp, no, wow, well, yeah, see, they don't want to burn their cards, they're saving them, they're smart. That's normal play, that's like proper AI programming, I think, but I keep my march order, and then... I'm gonna march again. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Okay. Go 
Cool Nimit just won. If we can get two barrels here, it's great. Depending on what cards come up here. Uh, let's just drop a Randall Tarly on him. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. They defended. And I lose my guy. That's not good. Not good. This is risky. That's okay. Can't win them all. They got rid of their, their mountain card there. So Gregor Clagane. Okay. Winner is coming. Shuffle the card. What do we get? Adjust the supply track. See if I could have got those two barrels. Would have been huge. But that's okay. That's okay. I got, I got a one up out of it. Bit on the three influence tracks. And here's the problem. <laughs> okay. We're going to whoops, do nothing on the first one. Okay, Starka's Iron Throne, I don't care, they're not near me, I don't worry about them. Uh, maybe I don't worry about fighting for now. Oh, I'm above Lannister, right? Is that right? Can't be, yeah, that's right. Or unless this guy, Stark, messes with it, right? No, he didn't mess with it. Alright, we're going to put three in on the Fiefdom track. Yeah, it's three stars. Perfect. I'm going to get some serious business going. My neighbor here, Lannister, is uh, doing better than me on all this stuff. All day pow Are you serious? This is definitely made to stop us from just mustering like crazy every turn. Oh, man. That sucks. Just got able to use that token, and now I can't even play. I should have looked at that first too, but uh, no, the digital edition. And hey, Logan, uh, the digital edition doesn't include any expansions. The only thing from any of the other games that's not like corset ish uh, is they include the vassal system from the Mother of Dragons expansion, so you can play at a lower player count game and have everyone control the AI and like bid on them and use them uh, instead of just having bots uh, if you want. That's the only thing that incorporates from that Mother of Dragons expansion right now. But as every digital board game app, I believe, it's always the same marketing strategy, the same, you know, project path is if the game base game sells well enough, they make enough money from it, then they'll, they'll move on and start doing expansions and start adding those in. But if the base game doesn't sell well enough, why bother, right? So get test the waters first, see how it works. So if you want to see expansions... Uh, shell out the dough. <laughs> that's how it works. You can't just sit there and go, I'll wait till expansions are coming. That's my belief. Uh, that's pretty much how it usually goes. Um, but it does, over the base game, have solo challenges, which we're playing right now, uh, for four different houses. It also has uh, tutorials, three tutorial scenarios to teach you the game. And yeah, you can play online, and you can incorporate bots online, playing with people in lower player count games. You can play fully offline uh, with the AI bots, and you can play with games with friends, and you can play games, like ranked games against other players uh, to kind of keep the skill levels the same. You can play live games, you can play asynchronous games, taking your sweet time over many days. Uh, yeah, it's got all this stuff. All right. Hmm. Yeah, we're down to 2 out of 15 units. I, I don't think we're playing this proper. I, I should have just stayed back and kind of built up at home. But again, I had no way to muster, so I, I don't know. I need to spread out and get barrels, I think. That was kind of smart, but... Like right now, like, what am I doing? I don't control Old Town yet. Uh, Whoops. Yeah, I should have went down and took Old Town. I can't I can't do that. I, I should have done that for some points. Uh that's okay though. Let's just just uh actually let's not worry about this guy as much. I say we just play defensive here. I maybe spread myself out too thin. That's not normally the way I play. That may bite us a little bit, but just trying to risk something here. If we have to try this again, we'll try it again. Um Nothing really happening here. I don't want to 
want to put... Like, I want to play, play crowns, but... Uh, or consolidate power orders. Yeah, so this guy's attacking. Uh, this could be bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Logan. <laughs> Have you played the base game, Logan? Though, do you have do you have the expansions like Mother of Dragons? Do you have Feast for Crows, Dance with Dragons. Have you played Have you played Game of Thrones the board game Second Edition? Just curious. Never the expansion, okay, okay. Yeah, the Mother of Dragons expansion is definitely like like there's multiple expansions, FYI, for this game. There's like little little pack ones that came out way before the Mother of Dragons. There's a cool um a Dance with Dragons expansion. Just a deck of cards. It replaces all the house cards in the base game, and it's a whole new starting situation where every territory is filled with units, and it basically puts the game starting at where it was in book four and five. Uh, so lots of combat happens right away. It's only six rounds, kind of shortens the game a little bit, but you need six players to play it. And then there is the Feast for Crows, which is a four-player tournament-style game where it's focused on doing objectives. It's meant for players that are like kind of know the game fairly well. Uh, and then the Mother of Dragons came out, so you can play up to eight players. But it also added uh, stuff for lower player counts, where you can use the vassals to control. Uh, everyone can kind of control the AI faction, so you're not. You're not playing with those garrison tokens. You actually have all the factions that are on the mat. Just everyone is is fitting control and allying with like these AI factions. It has these rules to it. It's neat. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so Lannister is coming at me here, and they're trying to take the Sea Road marches. I just gotta make sure I don't die. Are they gonna have to kill me? Oh, they could. Stupid Jamie. Stupid Jamie. All right, let's just do this. Okay, no, nope. he just wants power. Burned his big card, I'm down with that. I burned my zero. And I get to remove this, so he doesn't get to march on me again. Queen of Thorns says, no. No, you don't. Uh, and I will retreat. I can't go here. What's happening? Oh, there we go. It was like not letting me click there. Oh, come on. Martel's gonna come and troll me too? Get out of here. We'll fight with Barra. Get out of here. Uh, this is gonna be rough. I definitely might need to restart this. I, I didn't play the right start for what's happening here. <laughs> uh, uh, can we salvage it though? There we go, mustering. Again though, just not, not good for me. Yeah. I needed to focus on getting these barrels harder. I should have lined it up where the march plus one was. Or I didn't have a march plus one. The march zero should have been here. And then I should use that to take these two lands. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. Two points here. It's all about the land units, so maybe not wasting our time on boats. So my whole talk before about using boats to spread out, I don't think we do that. I think we don't spend anything on boats. Because we only have eight rounds to do this in, and yeah. I think the boats is a trap. But I should have moved this boat into the port though, because I, I don't think I need to be running around that much here. I can cross by land. Uh, in that case... Drop a footman, and upgrade to a knight. 
Actually, oh, I can't undo. That's okay. I just did another bookend. Right him out. Okay, so let, let's fall back. Let's try to just build a defense, I think. Let's get Old Town. That's, that's important. Oh, keeping this out here for support, actually, is probably a good idea. We lose and we're forced to retreat. Do like this. So lame. On turn three, and I'm only putting three order tokens out. Feels lame. I did bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yes, this challenge is hard, <laughs> but I, th I think it's not unattainable if, if you have the right start. I did not have the right start. I'm making it look harder than it is, I think. But yeah, it's like thinking outside the box, I think, and what needs to be done here. I think falling back, building a solid foundation, and then slowly going out. But I knew what it was going to do there. I knew trying to grab early barrels was like a key, but I didn't, I didn't value it as high, and they did adjust armies then let us muster and I wonder if it does that every single time I wonder if the Westeros cards come up the same time every time you play a challenge I've never played one more than once um, but it'd be cool to see if we do fail this to try again and see if it does that to know focus on getting sea road marches or that guy that was here throw him down to three towers or we just focus on the reach and Old Town, just to get those muster points early even so, and maybe just get one extra barrel. Maybe not go so heavy trying to go for three, maybe just focus on getting one extra and then two castles, I think would have been... They are different Westeros cards? Oh, okay, okay. So I had a good start, I had a good start of Westeros cards, I just didn't play properly for them, I don't think. Yeah, I tried, but I, I was being, uh, yeah, too risky, didn't do that so early. Uh, okay. So we only have one march order. Loss of Dornish marches. Martel. Uh, yeah, these guys are full coming in here. Like, full hard Lannister attacking, Martel coming in. This is crazy. Yeah, they're totally beating me back. Huh. What is Lannister looking? Okay, only a one and a two. And what am I holding? They're coming in with a plus one. They could come in with three here. Their boats are moving. They're spreading out too. Man. Hmm. Supporting myself for two. Oh, I have a garrison. I have a garrison. Okay, I have a garrison. We're okay. We're okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on that. Hopefully. I just want to move. I'm doing this. Like, not letting me... There we go. Uh, we just want to cut down to Old Town. The reason I strike them first? No. No, I don't have the support. Ultra Violetta says, yeah, that's what I like about the challenges. It's like they program the AI based on the challenge. That's neat. I like that. I like that. 
Yeah, it's like all this extra work. They didn't need to put this in the game. I like that they did it though. I like that they spent the time on these. That's why I want to kind of highlight them on the channel to show they're, they're a thing. You'll get hours out of the just playing these, which is neat. Before you even go on a line. So it's like a good way to like get kind of good at the game and try some different things. And, and this knowledge and getting good at these definitely transfers to the multiplayer game. So it's kind of like a good, good, good schooling after you've done the tutorial stuff. Maybe play like a skirmish game or something. Um, just more preparation for playing against people. Oh, they're attacking me. Who would have known? I'll play another card. Saw that coming. <laughs> Get out of here. Hitting on the tracks, followed by a wildlings attack. Ugh. Ugh. Good Lannister. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be a pain in my ass. Here. Oh, I'm gonna be lowest bidder, aren't I? It's probably gonna be that card that like makes us destroy units. Just win, guys. All right, we won. Perfect. Turns our entire house card discard pile. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay if Greyjoy does that. Fine with me. I have no power. No power. All right. Okay, let's get let's get the muster going. Oh, but they could raid that, couldn't they? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Raid from here to raid the raid. Yeah, that's the play. Mustering is like number one. That's all we need to do to win and get 15 units out. So like, I, I don't need to win battles. Uh, kind of. I do need to win battles to get territories to then plop armies down. But uh, yeah, I say we, we're making up. We're only halfway through the game. That's a little rough. Um. This one's gonna be a raid. I guess we could just play whatever. We can play the full out raid, whatever. This one. Play this one. I feel like we play defensive. Man, this is so lame. Lame. Oh, you know what? Let's take off. This. So lame. Yeah, I'm in a hard spot. I, I don't think we can get this, but... I mean, we need some musterings to come out of nowhere. We have 4 out of 15 units. What are these guys doing? Yeah, so they're just attacking. I thought that might happen. These guys are also attacking. Get out of here. Get out of here. So what we do... I'll replace. This gets replaced. I feel like this one needs to be defense. I don't know. I don't know. This is weird. Hey, Yanni. Uh, winning? No. <laughs> I started this one wrong, and anyone who plays the Game of Thrones board game knows if you start, like, these scenarios are a little different, but these challenges, but man, if you start the game and make, like, the wrong risky moves, you could be, like, behind, like, the rest of the game. 
Unless you can convince an ally to kind of leave you alone and let you just kind of recover and help you out and support you and stuff, but... Yeah. In this, there's no allies. Like, I, I can't align with my one of my neighbors. Like, I can't. It's just like, they're all after me here. I don't know what's going on. They all just want to kill me. I didn't do anything to Martel. They're just all up in my face. I think that's part of the test. Martel pack in. What do you got? What do you got? All of your cards. Ugh. Ugh. Probably won't win, but I'm gonna try. Yeah. That sucks. That sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. We're starting this one over. We're starting this one over. <laughs> I'm not even going to keep going. It's going to be a waste of like three more rounds. Uh... Yanni has a question. If I buy another copy of Marvel Champions card game, I can get five players? Game's designed for up to four. I'm trying to think. Because it's like, technically all the difficulty stuff's just like this much health per player. Like your bad guy needs this much. It gets this much threat on the card per player. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why you couldn't, but I might be not. I might be missing something. Mm. No. You shouldn't need to buy another core set because you just need like dials and stuff. But Brian, Brian's right. Like, there are other ways to put more players in. Just I would ask that in like the Facebook group for the game or in the board game geek forums. Go to the variant section. I guarantee people in there have figured out how to play higher player counts. Yeah, playing at five players is kind of like waiting for your turn to come around. That could be a little rough. Um, but yeah. That's weird. It's like the game's touted as being like so amazing at one and two players, but... Going for five? Ooh. Yeah. But hey, if you have a bunch of hardcores that love the game and want to work together, play five player, there's got to be ways to do that. There's always ways. Somebody always figures out something. Go to the variant section on BoardGameGeek. Guarantee there's something in there. If not, you can ask. I'm sure the community has, has already figured that out, which is awesome. All right, let's go growing strong again. Let's try again here. So we need to build up our army. Renly Brathian may have as much claim to the throne as a rusty pot, but he has a talent for flattery, and he's agreed to marry my lovely granddaughter. Now it's up to us to round up enough fools who will fight for him. All right. Go for the Prince's Pass first. Okay. We're gonna march. We're gonna march. And... Whatever, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, going for the reach right away, same thing. Lannister going to see road marches. Yeah, it's kind of like, I shouldn't push there. I should just let them push me and then I take them out. are fighting. Same thing. Okay. Now I think I'm going to play the fallback strategy here and kind of fall back, defensively build up, and then expand. One more barrel. Let's not get greedy. Go here. Or a debate going here. Just based on getting extra power, but then again, Starfall. They'll be at us right away. I okay, just go to the three towers. Do I leave power behind? 
Yeah, if they want to move off the reach and take it, sure. Minister yeah, taking Blackwater already. Man, look at these guys. They're going to become huge so fast. Do I just like this guy? Get another barrel? And it doesn't help me for any mustering. <laughs> it does kind of help me if we get the muster soon. But then again, that goes against like what we tried last time. I, I want to try to not be so aggressive. Let them come to me f for the first bit. Right a little bit, got an extra barrel. Hopefully we can muster. Just like worry about our limits. No, I think uh, this one's the same. This one I think is the same as the first one last time. And this is different though. This is different. Raid orders cannot be played. Okay, that's good. Because last time it was the consolidation of power that screwed us from being able to muster right away. Okay, so we can have more armies. Spit on the tracks. But other reason I was thinking of not dropping my power on the Dornish Marches, but if we got Clash of Kings or whatever it is, the one that uh, gives us a whole bunch of power, or is it Game of Thrones? One of those two. Um, get like a whole bunch of power here. Okay, I don't care. We're going first. Right now. Right now I don't. A little, a little combat help maybe. Like Mart Martell and Lannister above me. That's all I really care about being below me there, and that wasn't enough. I really only need two stars. One, fine. We got three, it looks like. Oh, but tiebreaker from Barra, we'll see. Oh, yeah, we stayed second. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, no raid orders. Perfect. Well, problem is they can raid the crap out of us here with these two points. So I think we just muster back here. Fine. Uh, we support from here. We defend. Although, man, I'd love to just take another castle, but I would love to muster here, and this one I would love to march this old town guy over to the arbor and then come back. Just so we can get another another crown, but I don't know. I mean that's the place we could put somebody later once we muster. Maybe we'll do that next turn. Uh, I'm thinking of marching into here. The bait, just putting a crown on him to get some power, but I want to get here. Get another barrel, another crown. Although I do worry Martel will be rushing us there soon. I'd be careful not lose my units. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, this one's a tough one. I can see why you guys were saying that yesterday. Tyrell are, are tough, tough scenarios. I think it's just a different play style. But it could be just AI's very aggressive. And uh, I find in this game, if you don't have one... One neighbor kind of leaving you alone or allying with you, you're gonna have a rough time. You can't really hold off two houses attacking you all the time. That's what's gonna happen here. I'm, I'm gonna have three attack me actually with Vera, I'm sure it's gonna get in the mix. 
But again, we can play some low cards now versus before we were kind of forced to. Do I just kill these guys? Do I just, do I just go aggressive a little bit and just kill? So they're not up in my hair. Let me look around. Oh, they got more marches. More marches. What is Martel doing? Martel's just chilling. Yeah, but see, going into Prince's Pass, these guys will have to deal with, I'm sure. But, I mean, that might be nice right before you get payout on those. Okay, so we've got lots of room in our armies to muster, but we just don't have lots of castles to muster out of. Or strongholds. Muster, please. Just spread them out. An army of three, I just played there. Recruit, new units, here's the muster. Yeah, so I think the mustering, the, these first cards have come up the same each time. I think it, it will always do the Reconcile Armies and the Mustering. Unless I just got lucky there. I think. Oh, mustering noises. All over the place. Okay. So, two points here. Built my army three. We could do a footman and upgrade it to a knight, right? That's what we do here. And here. Upgrade to a knight. Do I do a siege already? I should have did the siege here. But I'm still worried about all these, these shenanigans. Uh Baiting a ship in the port just for power. But our land units are what we need to focus on. That's my answer. Hmm. Bidding on the tracks. Damn. This sucks. I'm gonna be behind. I'm not gonna be able to play the consolidated orders thing again. Be nice, be nice. Nice. One third. Two stars. Two stars. I'll take it. Bidding nothing, I'll take it. Bottom of the other two tracks, though. March plus one. That's okay with me. I'm playing defensive right now. I don't need people steamrolling me right now. That's great. Although Martel is so going to take the Prince's Pass here. And I, I can't protect this guy. I got to, like, run him away. But I won't, I won't be able to do it in time. Never know though. Never know. <laughs> All right. Need to march. 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 Spread out. We need to spread out. Get guys off these territories so we get to muster again. We have six out of our fifteen land units. 
Hey, Matouge. How was your game so far? Is this game any good? Never played. Yeah, I love it. It's a great game. It was in the board game, you get top 100 for a while. Uh, even before the show, I think, got really popular. But, uh, yeah, it's great. Just this app came out, like, five years too late, kind of. But, uh, so the, the board game's still well regarded, but with the hype of the show gone and everything, it's like, we need another book to come out and boost this IP again. But this game is still great. Uh, here. Let's see, where is it at? Yeah, it's number 124 overall, 7.6 out of all board games in general, in Board Game Geek in the database, 120 in strategy. Not very high in strategy. I mean, it is high, but it's like, yeah. The problem this game has going for it is that a lot of people bought it, I'm sure, because of the show and got hyped. But the staying power is hard because you have to have the time commitment to learn it. The more players, the better. Like, best with six. Like, that already, the fact that it made it, it's near the top 100 still, and it was in the top 100 games of all time, uh, is huge for a game that requires, like, six to be at its, like, peak. Like, its best play. With a 3.71 complexity. And a, this is kind of like, if you know what you're doing, maybe you can get it done in 240 minutes, but it's like an hour per player when... You kind of know what you're doing, and you maybe have a new player at the table. About an hour per player, it kind of gets played in. Or 45 minutes per player. Especially with lots of negotiations going on. But yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, so that's how it's doing. But I love it. It's on my last favorite games of all time. This is my top game of all time. Like, I've had the best gaming experiences playing this game. Partly because I love the IP. Partly because it's a super well-designed FFG quality design. And the players we play with in our group, that does help make the game. Uh, but I've played it with many different players. Players who aren't even heavily into board games, I've, I've got to play this game as like their next step up from like Clue and Monopoly. Uh, they just got to have the attention span to be able to play it and then sit there for five to five and a half hours playing it with a bunch of people. Uh, but yeah, it's great. Love it. Love it. But again, the digital version helps get around the I can't find six players to teach the game and play it with. Uh, it kind of solves that problem if you're okay sitting in front of a computer playing. But the board game itself, I love it because of the in-face interaction, backstabbing your friends, lying, stealing, destroying, uh, card play, combat, no dice rolling, tons of strategy. Love it, love it, love it. All right, that's my ramble. Uh, boo -boo -boo. What would I compare it to? Um... Uh, Yes, the digital edition does have a tutorial. It has, uh, it's better than reading the rule book. It actually walks you through three custom scenarios to teach you all the rules. And then you can play solo against the AI on like easy mode, medium, uh, or you could also do these challenges I'm doing right now, which, which only, they only have four factions right now in the challenges. I wish they had all six so you could play each one uh, to kind of test, test it out and get good with each faction. Because knowing what each faction can kind of do definitely helps uh, when you're playing, but... Ultra has just said, you got luck with your cards. I just got the first round of Westeros cards and got Summer Days, Game of Thrones, and Wildlings Attack. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, so there is some randomness to it. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. I did get lucky two turns in a row then. I just, the first time I didn't play properly for it, and that was my own fault. Looks a lot like Catan Online. Great place to practice math of the game, but no match, no match for making someone go read comic books. Comparing this game to something though, Matouj, um, it's heavily influenced by the game Diplomacy, if you've ever heard of it. It's like kind of like that. I always say it's kind of like Diplomacy and like Risk, but like without the luck and dice rolling. But like you're trying to control territories, take over castles ultimately. But it's like, like I showed you, high on the complexity. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'd compare it to. Like, as like. This is board gaming to me. This is what got me into the hobby. I don't, I don't know what I've played that's kind of like similar to have 
six or you know four eight people around the table cutting each other's throats for six hours plus who knows i i don't know i'm not sure not sure what i compare it to i'm sure there's others out there that would be like drop a whole bunch of different games mm -hmm. yeah i don't know i like i like now playing root as like get the same kind of feeling at like a lower player count in less time but it's very that's very heavily asymmetrical this is not so much that um twilight imperium okay okay twilight imperium says marshall so twilight imperium sci-fi themed big epic game space opera lots of plastic bits moving around on a map basically right um each faction i'm assuming has their own player powers and like tech trees and stuff which may be a little more advanced TI. TI is fun, but way, 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 way too long until the reboot. Oh, the TI4? Same designer, yeah. Christian Peterson, who used to run Fantasy Flight Games, now supposedly retired, but now doing his own thing. Some other thing. He retired from Fantasy Flight Games. He's like the, the founder of the company. Uh, he designed this game and Twilight Imperium. Two of his like earliest games getting the company off the ground. This game is actually designed from like 2002. That was rebooted with a second edition in 2011, and it took stuff from all the expansions and kind of like you know, improve some things, fix some balancing and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we're choosing an area to place an order. I think we're good. Yeah. Yeah, see, this guy's trying to stop us from mustering, playing the stupid raid orders here. I need to get a boat out in this sea to start raiding this one so I can muster here. That was a missed opportunity. That was a missed opportunity. I should have prepped for that. So if we have to play this again, uh, we definitely move our ship out here. And then play raids here to protect this one so I can keep mustering two points here. And then keep spreading out. I won't be able to move my units off, though. That's no problem. I have to, like, muster everything every other round. I don't know, we'll see. There's 6 out of 15 land units. <laughs> I hate that when the wildlings attack too much and you have no power left and then you go to bit on the tracks and you're just like destroyed. Yeah, yeah, that can be rough. Wildling attacking too much, it gets pretty bad. Especially when you are like the lowest bidder a few times and yeah, you just fall too far behind. Alright. What are we doing with our marches? Could go for another... Oh, actually, we don't really need to go for more barrels. We still are kind of have one in the waiting until we reconcile armies. Um, we just need to spread out. We need to get guys off these territories so if we get to muster again, we can put more points on the land. We kind of... And if we can take castle here. Like, I feel like the reach is kind of important. Kind of important. We kind of, kind of, kind of pick our territory here. Kind of spread out a little bit. Um... Like, these guys should, they're, they're, these Dornish marches, little Martel guys here, uh, they shouldn't be there. They need to go. Blackwater's have been left open. That's kind of like the AI saying, come, you can come and take this if you want. But we need to take the reach first, I think, is most important. I feel like this guy's going to have to retreat too. All right. How do we do this? Let's check what Barra has. Win. Danis is in the discard pile. So this is a three card with a sword. No ship support. Oh, this one. <laughs> Patch face. 
my like second favorite card in the game. I love that one. Uh, just discard a card from their hand. So I'm debating leaving High Garden a little open here, and then maybe marching with these guys, just like putting a footman there for next round's defense, because we don't have to worry right now. But it leaves like a footman there, so we can place an order, a little bit of defense. We get support from the C. Leaves it open for good, good mustering possibilities. We gotta watch out that these guys don't play the whole next turn, march some guys. But, oh, Greyjoy's right on their heels, though. This is actually really good. If Greyjoy keeps eating Lannister apart, we don't have to worry about Lannister pushing so hard against us. That's kind of good, actually. It's definitely different. We just gotta watch these Dirty Martells are actually the, the bigger force this time. So they could play a three. We can use our, our card here. Uh, hold on. It can do up to three, right? And they're above us. So they can get to five. So as long as we do six, as long as we do six, we should be good. We could use these guys to also push forward in here, but what's Martel got? All their cards. Bait. Is this the time? There's nobody there. Oh, there's this little guy. They have three. They could play. I'm thinking of the next combat already. If I only go with two, they could play to four. If I can destroy their footmen, but I'm I'm behind on the track. But would they drop their four? I do this. Oh no. Don't make me discard a card. Oh, okay. Thanks for only discarding a one cost card in my hand. That seems sketchy. <laughs> he should have discarded my four. <laughs> the risk against going as Barra before you do other stuff. Blackwater. Oh, okay. Martel's going after Barra. Nice. That's nice, got, got a little lucky there. But Bear can keep them busy, that's good. Uh, George, this this is actually based off of the books. Like this, this game was licensed in like 2002, and Fantasy Flight Games, all their games, except for the HBO edition of the card game, uh, and the TV trivia game, mostly all their stuff is based on the A Song of Ice and Fire license, uh, which is only from the books. And uh, yeah, so I prefer actually that the art is from the books. It's like when you play some of their Lord of the Rings games too. They use like the descriptions of Legolas from the books versus the movie, so they look kind of different. Uh, so yeah, no HBO twisting of certain characters and stuff like that. And Marshall, I need to ban you from the chat since you prefer the title Tides of Battle cards. Uh, you're going to have to leave now. <laughs> Just kidding. But I'm not going to look at you the same. <clears throat> Teach their own. Teach their own. <laughs> Nothing wrong. As long as you're playing the game, I guess that's good. But if you're going to play with me in the future, there's no Tides of Battle cards happening. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not dedicating like hours to playing a game where like randomness can just happen and frustrate me. I already do that enough. 
I don't want to put it in this game. It's one of the appeals of this game is like the most of it's in your control, kind of like you know, like you 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 know the risk going in, kind of thing before you make decisions. Hey, okay, what are we doing here? Yeah, see, they brought a guy down here. This this guy retreated. This is bad news. Bad news for me. <laughs> but I could march back in here. I could march this guy back. That could be a thing. But I also could spread these guys out. It's probably what I should do. I, sh I should maybe march this guy back. Or just march this guy in here to fight these guys. And then fight them again. So if they're still alive. Hmm. All right, so here's what we do. Here's what we do. Start here. We go bang, bang. Go in here. We're going in with three against three, eh, I think. Where's Martel? We go. Won't be able to move in if I fight them with that, but that's okay. I can move in after with my other march order. They win, they might play a two, three, do I play my four card here, kill, kill a footman, kill a footman, get him out of my hair, I prefer to use that against Lannister, but in the future, oh I could do that right now actually, oh, yeah, I go in here, I go in here with these guys, to get rid of this routed unit, and kill this footman I think with my four, but, uh, I may have to commit a little more here then. Let me think. Martel. Three, two is a two. One. You're defending. Nope, doesn't change the number. So three is the max. They are ahead of me on the track. Hmm. If I go in with all of these guys, I'm coming in with four. And I just have to play a three to be safe. I don't have a three. And I don't want to burn my four. I don't know how to do this here. I'm trying to think. I would love to leave a guy behind though. Or move a guy up here. Don't need to win this. And they don't... Well, they do have a way to kill though. That would be bad. I, I don't want guys to die. Do I care about these guys being here right now? Maybe I'll leave these guys alone right now. But there'll be trouble. There'll be so much trouble for me next turn. Yeah, I think I just gotta crush him. I gotta crush him. What is Lannister holding? Yeah, Lannister has their four also. But, if I attack here... Oh, they are supported. Ah, they're supported by two here. I might not be able to take this or even worry about it right now. But I could if I save my four and brought these in. No, let's just do this. Let's just leave it. Oh, hold on. Let's uncheck. This guy's going to go he... No. This guy will stay. This guy will stay. I don't know. This is risky. Maybe not though. Like, I think these guys are more of a threat where they are than uh, the Lannister guys, but I could be wrong. With them supporting and stuff like that. Yeah, see, I didn't have to play my four here. I thought that was the card they'd pick. But I got rid of a footman. Weakened them a little bit. Okay, here's the question. I could go in here and smoke these Bera guys. But then Greyjoy's right here with two. Lannister's right here. Like, whoever I put there is going to most likely get killed next turn. Or I just bring this guy back over here and play it safe. My armies are not maxed out. I still have another barrel. I think I'm okay right now. Safe plays, I think. But man, seeing these routed units. Uh, tough. Two barrels. Oh my god. Marshall says, hey, I've been watching you since you and your wife and buddies were playing the Game of Thrones 2nd Edition. Which is like, we're, that was one of the first things we played on the channel. Uh, we're playing that game. 
That is the game that got us in the hobby. Like, so yeah, that was six or seven years ago we were playing that. We played it obviously after. Yeah. Don't spread too thin. I know, Adam, I know. Thank you for being being the conscience on my shoulder here, the the, the good side, you know, telling me what to do. That's the problem. If if I was playing like a normal game trying to expand, get castles, I'd take that risk. But I just need to get fifteen dudes on the board. And the more that keep dying, the longer it takes. Let's just go here. Then we might be able to support, play defense up front, support from behind. We'll see. We just need to like hold off till we get some more mustering going. Like we just need to keep mustering, keep defending, building, spreading out our army a little bit, a little bit at a time. Hopefully, we draw a muster card in the next round or two, or reconcile armies first. Would be great. Root new units in strongholds and castles. Yeah, mustering. Perfect! Woo! <laughs> and nothing happens, then Storm of Swords, defense orders cannot be played. Okay, so that changes things a little bit of uh, just playing defensively. That means they can go offensive. We might have to strike first kind of thing. Okay. Five wings are at 8 out of 12. Yeah, I want to crush them just like... That's what I think this scenario would like... You definitely have to break yourself out of the normal play style. You have to, like, think differently. And sometimes in situations in this game, you have to sometimes, based on what's happening with your neighbors, you have to play defensively. You have to look weak. You have to stay turtled up a little bit. And then later strike when it's your chance, you know? Because if I find the AI in this, too. If you, if you have strong borders, they won't attack you. They'll go attack another faction. Like, they'll realize if they can't win it or it's too risky, they won't even try. Which is kind of what human players do, too. So, you just kind of look, puff up your chest a little bit. You know? And it'll scare them away sometimes. Target, target the, target someone else. Alright. Uh, mustering, though. Whitman. Uh... Footman. Uh, footman. Footman. 10 out of 15. It's going to be tough. This is going to be freaking so tough. Uh, we're going to lose some units at some point too. Uh, oh, we still have more mustard points here. I forgot about. At some point we gotta do some siege trickery. Let's get a boat. Let's get a boat. That'll help us spread out a little bit. We can do like siege attacks down here in Starfall. Help us with some support up here. Eventually. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's a waste. We should just upgrade our land units. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Hmm. Although getting to all our maxed out land units, we're going to need all five of our knights on the board and all ten of our footmen, so let's just knight it out. Ugh. Feels so weird. Feels so weird. Alright. Okay. Let's continue with some support. No, first, 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 first. Two points of muster here. What can we do? We can maybe we do that and put the ship here. Yeah, let's do muster here. I keep forgetting I get two points of muster here also. So like I don't know why I was freaking out about not being able to muster here. Silly, silly. Okay, definitely mustering. I mean. We gotta spread out our army of three for sure. Maybe we can reconcile armies first, but we definitely need to spread out. Break up the threes, so we can muster in a three down here, hopefully. Uh, so if that's the case, we definitely... And we can't play defensive, so let's just march. 
here. We want to act before being attacked. Or do we want to support from here? I mean, we could just get raided out. That's the problem. Like, they can't raid both if we support from multiple. Look at this, man. This guy. I don't know how this guy's surviving down here. <laughs> I need to spread out. I need to spread out. I can push Martel. I don't think I can though. I think I would not muster here then and bring these guys up front. Hey Heather. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's just support. I mean if they're not playing, if they're not burning away my supports, that's good I guess. Here though, we're going to Attack. Here we are going to support. Can't defend. Although we could stop, we could raid from here actually, it might be better. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Why can't I... What's happening? Oh, I played all my supports. What did I do? I can only use two stars, right? So... That's fine. Yep. Move the ship. I don't know, this is risky, but can't play defensive orders, which is what I'd like to have played there, but let's see, let's see. Yeah, they played a raid, which is good. They march. Oh man. Okay. Okay. See what we're we're gonna get hit a couple times first. We're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit. What I'm thinking is like, with the consolidate, we drop a boat in the water this time, and we create like a sea bridge so that we can go sneak around, build some siege engines back in our main castles, and then use those to come and spread out and get some more territories under our control. Hopefully, that's my plan. Oh yeah, land units. We got siege engines that we can get in there. We don't have to do the whole night thing. Uh, get all of our knights and all of our equipment. I forgot about siege engines. I'm assuming those count as land units we're trying to put out there, I would assume. We did one to test, but I'm pretty sure. We'll see why not. So weird they made this a six player scenario. I find that weird. I wish it was just like a four. I'm gonna hone it in. Alright, so we're being attacked. Lannister's coming in with two. Uh, they could play a four. They could try to kill us with a three. Let's just assume four or three. They might make us play another card. We have six. We just need to play a one. And they don't have the sword. They're just above us on the track. Oh. Adjacent orders. They don't have adjacent orders. Yeah, so that's pointless to play that right now. I guess we're going to cycle through our cards pretty quick. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. 
Okay. One on one. Thinking of like, yeah, you know, let's just use this. Oh, you son of a bitch. I knew that would happen. I knew they'd do this to me eventually. I'm at the bottom of all the tracks now. This is gross. I'm not gonna be able to play my muster thing. I have no power. Like this is <laughs> this is not good. Not good. They're definitely trolling me here. <laughs> As Martel do. That's why I love them. <laughs> Ooh, alright. Okay. You guys done? You happy? You happy what you done? Oh we got got Barra here. I wanna do a little March minus one. Nice try though. Alright. Uh huh. You routed, are you, boys? Routed, are you? Sitting on a barrel? I'd like to take your barrel. That's the direction I want to go in. Probably. Let's just wait out and see. I want to delay a little bit. Because maybe these bear guys move in here, fight. They, they win, maybe they retreat, who knows what happens here. I want to let this burn out if they're going to attack these guys over me. Um, so I'll wait. I, I mean, I could march with these guys first and have them... Have these guys kind of go in here to reinforce these guys a little bit, or these guys back here to reinforce a little bit. But I kind of want to spread out a little bit. I want to see if we, things change on our borders. Uh, so I'm just going to troll with this ship. And just, uh, just move. Move out here. It, it connects basically high garden is now connected over here to starfall which is what i'm trying to do minimum but i also would like to put a ship back in here to then create that bridge so i can expand out and do tricks like grabbing starfall hopefully pretty easy see they've, they've left starfall open now and and or being able to help support up here at the sea road marches if i if i expand my um my range a little bit i can, I can support myself a little more from the sea uh so that's my march yeah, I thought they would do that, but I was thinking, like, maybe with these guys here, it's kind of more easy to take on. But, uh, only one choice. This helps me get through my cards, too. That's the other thing. So when I go to attack, uh, I have some better cards to play. We do kill a unit. both my units hmm. that's uh that's very bad very bad that went way worse than i thought was gonna happen there okay huh now oh, these guys are the threat and these guys They're holding for cards. We got their four. I mean, we discard a card. Patch phase is back. Oh, man. Okay, maybe I don't want to do that combat first. Nope, nope. Nope, nope. All right, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, let's go here first. I don't need to get patch phased first. retreat back a bit. That's fine. Uh, we're up by one. Play up to a three. Play up to their three. Go to seven. So we need to kind of go to eight, but I kind of don't want to. But I gotta be careful I don't 
get killed. They have they have swords. They can just drop a two and kill me. So with that case, I'll be a six. So I just need to be a seven at that case. So two is fine. Yeah, if we can kill them. Right, right. Oh, they play their three, block the kill, and they win. Yep, they win. That's fine. Not what I wanted, but it's what we got. I didn't want to burn a big card there, but I probably should have. Alright. Oh. Here. Hmm. What's happening? My game bug out? Yeah, something's happening here. My game's bugging out. Oh, it's, it was delayed. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Working here? Oh, man. Alright. Uh, yep, confirm. I'm gonna good turn. Good turn. Although they have those are four. We play our three. Yeah, I think we're doing this. Just. This is the place you want to be. I don't have enough for King's Landing, but man, that would be crazy. Um, could, I also, could I also go after Martel's here? I don't know which... Hmm. I think this one. Play the four. Wait a second. How do they have two? Oh, they have a support here. I didn't even notice. Whoops. Okay, they have support. They have support. All right. Um. Hey, Brett. Take the sea road marches. High garden can support all adjacent armies. No fear of raid. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. I see. That's true. Damn. Good call. Good call. Yep. Too late. <laughs> Good call. I should have read that earlier. Uh, so if they play to four, they go up to six. Much as I don't want to play this, I'm not messing around right now. Yep. Wow. Wow, they did drop the four. Would have looked bad if I didn't do that. Uh, yeah, we're mustering. Alright, so ship in the sea, I think is better for long term. Do I need it? Yeah, I should probably. Yep. And then we want equipment.
All right, so we reconciled supplies, like we can go crazy. With two power, that's it. Oh man, wildlings attack. Uh, like I'm way behind on the power game here. Will we just win? Yeah, I'm gonna go nothing. Oh, we lost. Uh oh. Lowest bidder. If he has more than one house card in his hand, he discards all house cards with the highest combat strength. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. And we'll Tarly. Oh, oh, well. Oh, well. I just played my two highest cards, so this will help me get to them faster. That's fine. Hatch face is discarded, really? I would never love that card. Rion Mattel. Everyone else has to pitch a card. Okay. We're at 9 out of 15. Come on. This is crazy. Down 5. We... I think we're mustering here. And I'm going to raid here. I think this is what... Oh, I can't. I can't because I'm bottom of the track. Damn you, Martel! Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad, that's so bad, that's so bad. Alright. That's the case, let's just spread them up. Spread out, spread out. Okay. These guys are moving. Um... I think these guys support. These guys defend. These guys defend. These guys. Uh, four? Can I just put a raid here to protect that still? Well, maybe I should support from the sea instead. Yeah. We're from the sea. Up here, though, I think I'll be a little cheeky. Although that's probably bad. Oh. That was tough. I don't want to steal my power, though. Yeah, this is rough. I don't know. Should I just run with this guy? Go back? No. I don't know. It's so weird not being able to play like the more powerful orders, special orders. Yeah, this is rough. Learning clear is pretty high, Heather. Uh, yeah, but the, it's not that bad with the app though, because they like walk you through little scenarios and teach you the game and stuff. Um, but the base board game, like the rulebook's pretty harsh. It it was before FFG came out with the two rulebook system. It was like just before that. So it was only a single rule book, and it's not organized very well at all. Rules are like all over the place in it. Um, but yeah, the app's pretty good walking you through it. We're playing one of the single player challenges right now, so it's helping me like get better with Tyrell and really push your your knowledge of the faction. Um, the app's not bad for teaching you how to play, and then you can always play against the AI bots too, and it walks you through everything. So it definitely lowers the learning curve. Um, using the app for sure versus learning it and i've taught like i've taught 20 to 30 players at least uh the board game over the over the years but uh yeah it's it's a little bit of a teach and then you gotta like play it fully one game through to kind of see like you know what what you're working towards what all the other factions can kind of do um yeah all right oh we can raid them yeah. 
Yeah, I'll take your power. Get out of here. Let me get, get back up on the uh, King's Court track there. What do we got? Attacking. Nothing, right? I can't read anything. At least not that I saw. Whatever. Whatever. They're beefing up over here. That's annoying. Get out of here. Get out of here. Only oh, played their four. <laughs> Back in the Prince's Pass, you buggers. Hmm. Well, we blocked the kill. Hey, Joy, run in the sieges. Starfall, you sons of All right. There's a few things I could do here. Uh, now the time to get Lannister up here. Seven defense. Man, what the heck? Damn ships. Too good. I can come in with... Or I didn't support myself either with this guy. I raided instead. Ah, that's so rough. I need to be able to play more tokens. I'm not going for that yet. But, is Lancer really weak on the cards? No, they still have their four. Oh, no. I thought they burned it already. Maybe they got their cards back. Then they played the mountain, right? Yeah, so they got their cards back. Uh, but this one, defense of four. Gets me another castle. Cartel's rocking. Only a two. Hmm. I just have to come in with seven. What do I have for cards? A one. <laughs> Not gonna happen. So I need to burn a card first. That's what that tells me. I need to get my cards back in my hand. So I need to fight, spend that one. Even if it's a fight, I don't win. Like, who cares? Uh, and Martel, I, I can't do it against them because I don't want them to burn their last card. So I need to fight something. Uh, can I even, I, maybe I just go up against Lancer here from here. Uh, maybe I do that. Maybe I do that. Then what? That doesn't work out. Then I can't fight these guys right now. I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do. You know, these two march orders, right? Yeah. These ones I can't fight anyone but Martel. I can't tie them. So even if I get my four back, they get their four back. Their four doesn't add anything. Mine does crush a footman though. That might be what that might be the play. I just play my four on that. Alright. So I do need to get my four though. Wait, they can only play a one. Hold on, let me think this through. I'm being silly. I have a one. They have a two, right? Yes, that's the problem. They have a two. Coming in. 
not supporting myself because I was dumb. I should have put the support on here. Don't know what I was doing with that. I, I messed that up. Don't know what I was thinking there. I am supporting myself from here up here against the Lancers though. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. No, 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 no. Get back there. We want this one. Okay, we just need to burn a card. This guy. Don't let me select this guy. I want it does that. It's definitely a bug. Like I can't select this guy. Why? Why? Why can't he move? Oh, he's routed. Duh. Duh, I can't see the flag. There, I see it. <laughs> he's got a flag. He's staying. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. It makes sense. The game is, this game is smarter than me. Alright, so we're going to go here with him. We'll just go with both. We're gonna play a two, so it's a four. I can play a one. They win because of the tie, though, unfortunately. That's fine. Whatever. Should we need to march both. Yeah, that was silly. I don't know. But we're gonna take take uh Oh, they're coming in. I forgot about that too. We're not supported over here. I am though. That they have their four. I need to play my four right now. Oh, so bad. Ah, oh, so. Yep. Yeah, can't let him do it. Oh, they just played their zero, you piece of crap. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Oh, nice. Greyjoy's getting in the mix. Gonna kill him. That's kinda good. Greyjoy doesn't have the support up here, really. Dark has the C. That's interesting. Uh, who do we want to support? I don't want to support Greyjoy in this one. Remember that, squids, that I supported you. Remember that. Helps weaken the Lancers. Okay. Well, here's some shenanigans. I don't have my four to come and roll in here for sure, but I still should attack it. Still should attack it. I've been supporting myself, but this is fine. Go in. Just go in with those three. Like maybe they don't play their big card, I don't know. Never know. supported too by shits. That's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. But let's just safely lose it. Yep. Safely lose it. No casualties. Okay. No yeah. Should have spread a guy to here. Yeah, that was all done. I'm done, done. Gonna play that better for sure. Muster. Damn it. I didn't spread out enough in musterings here. Uh, get upgrade units. If we get some sieges, then we can kind of do that same turn again, but actually get some things done. I should have been building sieges already. Yeah, look, they just dropped a siege there actually, which is good. Because if I go in there, uh, that's not a problem defensively. 
But I'm gonna be worried where are they taking that if they're if they're marching it somewhere. Alright. Siege. Here we want footmen and a knight. Here, bidding on the tracks. It went higher than Martel. That's not bad. Uh, that's actually pretty good. I'll throw one in here. Didn't do enough to get above Martel. That's fine. Yes. All right, three stars. Perfect. A March plus one. That sucks. <laughs> Ah, it sucks. All right. We're going to only spread out a little bit. That is okay with me. We're going to consolidate up here and we're going to be cheeky about it. And we're going to support from here, I think. And we're going to raid from here. Really care. Here. March. Spread out a little bit, I think. I think, I think, I think. And from here, oh, we can do more stars. We have three. So from this one out here, this one. Need a change. A defensive one anywhere? No. We're not playing defensive. I guess just this raid making a better raid for fun. Okay, that's great. What do you got, Martel? Okay, they're not attacking me really. Doesn't look like it. Change their tune. We just need to make four more land units. Four more land units. Yeah. We'll not lose any. Let's not play dumb. Already lost two, that set us back. Hopefully that didn't put us out of reach of achieve, achieving this objective, that dumb turn. But we got killed. Alright, raid orders to resolve. Alright, oh my one raid order. So, we don't have to worry about our consolidated power unless these guys kill us. I think we're okay there. Uh, one's really attacking. Oh yeah, no one is really attacking there. I'm taking away the defense is kind of pointless, but we'll just do it anyway, so we can. And then I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be right back. Uh, how do I pause this? Let's do that. Oh, it's still going. You're doing things. <laughs> well, wait a sec till it gets to my turn, and then we'll take a pause. Here, I'm marching some units. Taking King's Landing. Oh no! Forgot all about King's Landing. That'd have been something nice to focus on, but I'd be fighting with Martel and Barrel over it, I'm sure. Back and forth, losing units and stuff. Greyjoy, marching. Dark fighting Greyjoy and Seaguard. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Be right back in like two minutes. We're back. Whoops, wrong screen. All right. Uh, hello, Anthony. Asking the question in the chat. So, do you guys like any like board games? Uh, no, Anthony. I don't. I hate them. Uh, most people in chat, I'm sure, hate them too. Uh, we are anti board games here. Definitely. But anyways, back to playing Game of Thrones, the board game, digital edition. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Who's in a march order? So we got two here. We got one at Old Town, one at Dornish Marches. Um, see, they're, they're not doing anything aggressive here. We could stop them from getting a power. Fighting down here. I do really just want to spread out. Like, drop a guy here, drop a guy here. Because we're, we're going to lose a barrel here. We lost a barrel, it looks like. So kind of like grabbing some barrels is good. This turn is what I think we need to do, but... Got to watch out. Greyjoy is marching in here. They're only coming in with three. I have a garrison of two. We got some support. I think we're okay. We, we got high garden unlock. So I don't have to worry. We want to take Starfall and crush this siege engine here. That's just defensively sitting here being supported. No. Nope. Not supported. Not supported. Good chance for this one. Good time to take it out. We got, we got two support from our ships here. Yeah. And great and, and Martel, I don't see any other march orders to just sneak in after. Because this guy up here in the Kingswood has a march, but there is no ship bridge because Shipbreaker Bay is taken by Baratheon here, so they can't just march all the way around and come into Starfall after or anything like that. Uh the only thing they can do though is march here into the Boneway after if I spread out into the Boneway. And they would be supported by these two ships here, so that'd be kind of silly. Maybe I just try to go for Ironwood as hard as I can, but we gotta watch out for these guys over here at some point. We can't go too deep into Martel territory, or we'll just get some guys killed. They like playing with swords and killing our dudes. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Hmm. I am supported from here though. Okay, so what we're gonna do 
Take a guy here. There's a guy here. Three defense, minus one. I mean, I don't care if I take this spot or not, but it would be helpful. The Martel. Like, if we burn a higher card from them right now, that's great. You're defending. Nope. Oh, moving us to the bottom of the track, though. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. No worries. No worries. Spread out our units a little bit. That's really what I wanted to do. Oh, they didn't even march. Nice. Get out of here. Come on. Here, I hear ships. Here is going over here. Oh, Greyjoy is actually coming after the Reach. Ha <laughs> ha You dirty, dirty buggers. Didn't expect that. Well, Greyjoy, what do you got? What are you packing? Your four? Oh, with a sword. That's bad. Oh, I hate this card. Balon Greyjoy. Oh, this is a bad one. I'm going to lose this. Lose this. I'm going to lose this. This sucks. Uh, that's okay, I guess. It just doesn't kill our guys. Yeah, he went in for the kill. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn great. Ah, oh, they're making it so much harder. Get out of here. Why'd I, why'd I ally with you before? Lannister would have never done that to me. Uh, let's retreat. Let's retreat. Mm. Want to keep our armies kind of spread. All right, now the fun begins, I think. What do I need to take down here? Can I steamroll? Could I use my three card right now and just like steamroll two castles? I feel like I could. I think I try. Uh, let me just check what Martell's packing. Yep, yep. E oh, that would be bad. That would be bad. Okay, so if you're defending and you lose this combat, enemy units ret return to the area they marched from. Your own units must still retreat. So that's the problem. Uh, I want to steamroll. They'll probably play that card first. I got to return back to here, but I can't stay here, so I at least win. I don't know what happens to the march though. Like I assume it stays with this, these guys. Or does it? Yeah, I'd be curious what happens actually in that in this situation. Um, yeah, let's, let's roll it. Roll it. And I don't like not leaving gone here, but. And I think we're going to win this one, but. Well. No, he didn't do it. He's just gonna drop us. He's not on the last. Ah, oh, he did it again. King's Court track. We lose all our stars. This makes it tough, man. Martel messing with us there. That stops us from mustering. That's no good. No good. But hopefully, this play leads to another muster card. All right.
Ekma with six. What cards do I have to play? I have no power to leave behind. I just lost Old Town. I did that again. I've done that mistake so many times. That sucks. I don't even have Old Town. So I should send someone back. Yeah, I should send someone back. I shouldn't keep rolling. Old Town? Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. I forgot I had no power. I've done that before. Yeah, I left Old Town open. I could just march back, stay here, and, and do this on another turn. Yeah, I'm not attacking. That'd be silly. I mean, I could. And worst case, I retreat. I don't know. Would I lose anybody? Yeah, if he plays a Red Viper, I would. Yeah, yeah. I do want to cycle my cards, though, but that's not the right way to do it. Yep. So we're going to take... Take a Siege back. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we also could go for Sea Road Marches. Then we leave this open. I don't see a purpose to that. We got our barrels lined up again. Uh... Could attack this guy again. Just to burn. I'm trying to just burn my last card, I think. So let's go. That behind there. Two. Yeah, it's just a two, no support. Although, let me check my cards. So, yeah, he could still kill me, though. Mm. No. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go here. That's it. Big Arbor in Old Town? Could do that too. I leave Starfall open. It's too late though, but I thought of that going here, just three towers, but that's yeah, okay. All the dates. Mustery. Uh okay. Footman. Footman. Three more units. Uh, come on, let us muster units. Let us muster units. Let us muster units. No. What's happening? Oh, nothing happened. Sweet. For night's watch loss. What do we do there? We did no effect? Or you reconciled armies? Bidding on the tracks, really? Maybe. Maybe this will let us get from the bottom. We get one star. We can muster. Come on. Come on. Somebody screw up. Did nothing. Oh. oh no. Alright, we got one star. That's all we needed. All we needed. Okay, I'll take it. March plus one orders cannot be played again. Ah. <sighs> All right, at least it's not consolidation where it's going to be played. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to spread and then muster two points. Get two footmen dropped in. We need to make room for an army of three here, I think. going to lose guys, though. That's the problem. From here for sure is a march. Here is a defense. I think we need to protect. Here these guys are 
kind of uh, in trouble. Like, kind of in trouble here. Man, Brathy in here. I need to get these guys out of here. I feel like this ship doesn't need to be here anymore, but it is. What did I do? Did something wrong? Oh, I played my defensive star. Why did I do that? Where did I put that? Down here. Super weird. Just need to make three more units and not lose any units. No losing units. Oh. What was there? They just burned away. Whatever. Oh, Martel is marching though. Okay, what is going on? I'm gonna get wrecked down here. Greyjoy is like fighting. They're not even like trying to be defensive. Uh, Bear is marching. Like, they're marching twice. Martel marching twice down here. This is gonna get bloody. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Bloody, bloody, bloody. I have one card. One card. That's all I can do. Yep. Oh, this is so bad. So bad. So bad they kill both my guys. Yeah, I don't know how to do this one. This is this is messy. I think I push. I think you don't push against Greyjoy. I mean, uh, Martel, Martel. You just defend. Like, you can't. Go after them. They just stay huddled here, and them dropping me to the bottom of the King's Court track multiple times is a little gross. Yeah, I think you push Lannister direction, at least the way this turned out, and then we wouldn't let Greyjoy get in here like they did. I don't know. Yeah, Martel focus hard on us. Well. I don't know. Maybe we get lucky with a muster card and we have castles. So, like, we gotta go for it here. Lost a barrel. We gotta go take this over, right? No support from the sea. This guy after could come in, but... Alright. So... What are they... We have all of our cards now, pretty much. Martel. Oops. Martel. There you Okay. They can make us march back and not take Starfall. Uh. But they have a fight still too to spend a card. And that guy could march in here actually and be more defensive and not spend a card at all. Yeah, they're gonna mess with us on the card play. We won't even get Starfall if we go for it again. That's what I'm seeing happening. So I'm thinking the reach is where my focus goes here. 
but Brathian, like, what are you doing? Brathian, I'm assuming it's going to go here and attack me. But maybe they attack the Reach. I have another March I can use instead. Yeah, this one. Maybe I just march these guys out of harm's way. That's great joy have. They can get to six and just ignore my strength. So I can support myself with three. I'm in with two. Not enough. Hmm. Hmm. Retreat the north. Yeah, I'm debating retreating to Sea Road and or Stony Sept here. Nobody's really attacking. Over oh, we do have Greyjoy up here that could march in. They have a siege. Not that the siege matters for both these spots, but they're probably going for Harrenhal. Like, Harrenhal looks ripe, but then right after River Run would take Harrenhal. Yeah, I want to make it so these guys march here, but I worry they still go into Blackwater. Need to spread out too. Oh yeah. You're going here. And you're going here. Yeah, perfect. I want them to attack the reach anyway. Good thing they did. Hoping they would. I don't know if they would have if I was still there. Um, they're, uh, they're going to play a one. I think they'll lose. I'm going to support the defender. Nice, they get a kill out of it too. Yeah. And they come right after me. Piece of crap. A bunch of junk. Uh, what does Greyjoy have? Stupid Balon. I'm gonna use Balon. I'm gonna lose this guy here. Oh, Balon doesn't kill though. coming. These guys will come in here and attack this. And does Barra have cards to kill? Yes, they do. So we're going to go down here. Old Arbor. We'll hide out in the arbor.
and hope they don't reconcile army sooner. We're screwed. <laughs> we have to gamble. We have to gamble. Uh, okay. So. We're definitely fighting here. Greyjoy hold A zero. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, here's what we do. We march this guy. And we're supported by nothing? Aren't we supported? I do. No support? Oh, I got raided away? Okay, so... One guy, one guy here, one, two, here, okay, confirm. Like in the last round of the game, gotta, gotta pull it out here, gotta do some crazy stuff. We're gonna win here, and we get our march here again. Oh, but they got their full cards back. Oh, nice. Okay, this might be good. Bear's coming in. Maybe they maybe they get. Uh, got rid of his three. Oh, they get to upgrade again. No. Nope. Oh, that's actually good. They won. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Want to walk into Blackwater, but we'll fight happen there. But it weakened. We got rid of the Great Joys out of here. That's 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 great. So do I... Mm, okay, let's think here. So Martels are an option. Okay, moved into the three towers, really? These freaking guys. Okay, let's think here. So if we... Let's just click. We can click and see, right? Okay. So we either go for the barrels... Just in case to reconcile supply. I mean, we're not going to be able to muster. It's got to be the muster card coming up last or we're screwed. So we have to go for a castle. The only way, right? Only way. Yeah, we, we messed up. I don't know. Only way. Too late for the barrels. Uh, Lannisport would be interesting. Lannisport would be interesting, but we got... 3D Greyjoys over here with siege engines ready to march in there, so. And they'll have support. No, they wouldn't. That'd be an interesting one. They're not supported from the seas. Five defense. I can march in with. Uh, what do I got here? Three? No, they won't let us take it. They won't let us take it. The Martells. Well, let's look at the Martells. Yeah, we go for the Martells. They're, they're going to make us retreat back, though, so we won't get this castle unless they play the other card that lets us stay there, but they won't. So destroy a footman. Hold on, let's, let's see if our four card can do this for us. Oh, but they have a garrison. So we destroy one of these guys, they're down to four, they play their four, that's eight, they're above us on the track. Yep. So they could play an eight. I can only come in with three. No support. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. I would bet more that these guys would play their card to win versus these guys playing a card, playing their card to send us back. Did we try here? And we don't need to bring everybody, right?
Oh, they didn't play it. D. C. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, AI, for. Maybe they were just trying to not get killed. Maybe that's the other thing. They played like defensively so they didn't lose the unit. And I hear I'm thinking they're going to play so they can bounce us back, but. All right. Muster away. Footman. Footman. Nope. Ah! <laughs> uh, there's no muster here. We lose. Yeah. That's so hard, man. Wow. They give us lots of musters, though. We should have been able to do this. I just played some bad plays where I lost units, and I shouldn't have. Man, this one's tough. Holy. I didn't need to kill anyone, though, right? That's interesting, though. I still can keep my 12 units on the board. That's that's pro plays. Maybe. Maybe this wildling card lets us muster a whole bunch. <laughs> Can we be the highest bidder and muster like... Yeah, let us muster like crazy? That would be amazing. I was the highest bidder. The wildlings immediately attack again. You do not participate. Nah, we tried. <laughs> Oh, uh, that sucks. There's what I wanted! Right there! Oh my god, that's so bad! They must their forces in any one castle. See, this is what I wanted. I don't think it would have been enough. Because I wouldn't have been able to get three units out. Just two? Maybe? That's what I was hoping for, and there it is. <laughs> I knew it would come eventually. Oh, man. Yeah, if we just didn't get killed a couple times there and played that part right there, we could have got the last like muster point we needed. We can muster this turn, but that still can only get us two points. We need one more point somewhere. Yep, we were one one death shy of winning this, I think. I mean, we could lose units here too in this last round. Uh. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to do it. We don't have any other musters. Oh, we'll see. We'll play the last round out here. Uh, these guys are going to storm in here. I don't know. I can't do anything about it. Let's just support ourselves and hold for the best. March. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. Um, sure. Yeah, that's frustrating. This one's tough. Tough. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing over here, but... Kind of... Where do I have a spot left? Up here. Oops. Yes. Oh, Arbor. Oh, then we need to not waste this one. Here. Whatever. Whatever. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Try one more time. I think. I think I want to try one more time. So we probably should just exit. 
There's no way I can, right? One muster, two points. There's no way. Alright. Oh. Uh, What's happening here? Head out. I don't care if I lose, I wanna die. Yeah. Oh, turtling up hard here. Uh, okay. A lot. Hmm? I don't know. Oops, no, no, no. I don't want both those guys to go. Whatever. Yeah, I would just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Worth it. One more try. Let's do it. Let's do it this time. Gotta, gotta take what we've learned. The huddling strategy definitely worked. It was those times when I kind of was weak. I maybe attacked when I shouldn't, I played wrong cards maybe, and guys got killed when they shouldn't have. And those extra little deaths in there were, were the, like, yeah, just like one death, sh like if one extra death didn't happen there, I could have mustered there on that last one and maybe pulled it out still. That's craziest, that close. Yeah, that's close. Uh, okay, so what was the plan here? We're spreading out. Uh, we're betting on the barrel strategy. Let's... This guy in the port, I think. I think that's what we do here. Or we bring him out to the sea already. So if I can put him in the port, I can keep slapping orders. And not having power too, that was a little rough. I felt like I was low on power sometimes. If we get that wilding mustering card at some point and win that one, that would be great too. Uh, stay a little higher on some of the tracks and not lose those battles where we had guys die. So we need to focus more on the fiefdom track a little bit. Just going to play my normal strategy of like kind of getting power off ports. Uh, so let's try this. Wait, why are these guys not marching? What happened there? Be not. Yeah, why did I put defense on them? They should be marching. Split. Yeah, maybe I don't do that right now. Yeah. It's tough. It's like hard to start with this one. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't really matter what I do here. Yeah, we know Bear is going to move it on the Reach. We know Lannister is going to come down. 
Game start. And we were close. Oh, my chat was frozen, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was for a while. Oh, hey, Sacabra. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? My chat window was frozen. I haven't seen any chat for like a while. Thought it was quiet. Yep, so everything after George's retreat to the north, I was not seeing. Yeah, Ultra uh, Violetta, of course, yeah, if you play not streaming and don't have to describe everything you're doing, I try not to a little bit, I'm trying to be a little quicker here, but yeah, if, if you don't have to like verbalize yourself to your stream, you can definitely play games faster, that's for sure. But yeah, also you need to stop and think for a minute too, maybe that's why you're on your third try, like I am now. <laughs> uh... Where's Lacos Steve? Yeah, Siege Tower. Wouldn't be a surprise that you can't use Mustard to catch up. Oh, one guy in the Arbor growing grapes. <laughs> Control Extra Musters. Is that card the Iron Throne chooses the Extra Musters? Is that what it is? Yeah, that could be a good way to do it too. That could be a good way to do it. But man, I just think we just shouldn't have fought one of our battles there. Saved cards for defensive purposes. We wouldn't have had guys die and we would have won. Like, that's all, all it was. Maybe I got a little greedy on some spots. Yeah. I don't know about that play of trying to get the Iron Throne. I never feel like I have enough power to do that. I could switch my strategy early to go power, but I, I don't think that's possible. It's hard for... That's the weakness of Tyrell. Like, crowns and, and barrels are little... I mean, barrels are okay. It's the crowns. Like, one in the Dornish Marches. One in the Arbor, maybe. But that's like... That one's kind of a waste to go grab. And then the ones that you want to grab here, like the Prince's Pass, it's always contested. People fight over it. And, and that's tough. And then and beyond that, it's like Stony Sept, King's Landing. Like, that's out of your out of your reach, really. So it's like crowns and power are Tyrell's, like, downfall. That's like their weak weak part. So it's hard to like bid. And then if I'm not able to play my consolidation of power, yeah, maybe mustering one extra time is better than trying to play consolidation of power a few rounds. But I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. Yeah, I know having the Iron Throne is like super powerful. I just never do it in this game really. Like... I do if I'm like ahead. I I pick when I do it though. Like sometimes I just don't care, but depends if I'm playing a house that I can like pump the power out. Then I'll do things like go for the Iron Throne. But I mean, that's the cool part about this game. You can play like so many different ways, and you kind of gotta like duck and jive based on how your like neighbors are playing and the rest of the table's playing. Okay, so uh, we're definitely splitting to Old Town. don't think I put a power at the Dornish Marches this time. That was a mistake I feel I made last time. I could go for the Reach, though. And if I do, then I don't have to worry so much about the Dornish Marches being taken right away. If I can kill this fool. Vera has all their cards. Only one guy. I can come in with two. But then I'm, like, burning high-level cards right off the hop. And then I gotta hold these territories. Yeah, once I have the guy to put on the arbor, that makes sense. That makes sense. But you only that's kinda like a win more thing you usually do. But uh yeah, we can do that. Can't do it yet. For some reason. Wait, why can't I? I can do it now. Hmm. 
Not yet, but soon. Um, no, I think we just leave it. We do what we did. Well, I do want that reach in case we do get to muster. That would be huge. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Let's play safe. Play safe again. Safe went best. Safe went best. Princess Pass or two to three towers. Mm. I mean, like, this worked out pretty good once we got it, but I don't know if now is the time. Does lead to more power. Three towers. And we put this guy on the arbor after, I think. Nope. Nice to muster. Must be nice. Oh, now it's mustering. Jesus Christ. That sucks. I mean, it's okay. But man, that would have been nice to have that. Uh, yeah, look at him just throwing guys everywhere. Oh, this is, <laughs> I don't know if this is good for me or bad. I feel like they got more out of it. Alright. Let's think here. We can spam our army of three here so that we can throw one on the arbor, Dornish marches, and like kind of just move out. I don't know, or maybe go to Highgard and help them out. Yeah. Let's do our, our, unit, our army of three here. Up here. Footman. And I think the ship. The ship strategy was okay. Maybe not. Maybe we just focus on the land and upgrade to a knight. That ship for support is key. That was key. Yeah, ships are ships are like my secret weapon, I feel, in this game. A lot of people don't value them, but like Man, the, the crazy stuff you can do in this game when you have, like, all six ships in play. Like, just, like, expanding. You can jump to anywhere on the board. You can grab, like, nobody can cover every territory and keep everything on lock and guarded. Nobody can do that. And if you have ships and you have the options there, you can sneak in people's back doors and take places you shouldn't even be going. You'll be fighting with houses that don't even expect you to be an opponent. Yeah, it's huge, but... I'm just looking on not wasting too many mustering points on them. But again, having a good foundation could lead to me getting to more places, making more castles, which then lead to more mustering points. That's the key. If you want to muster a giant army, spread. Spread out, get barrels, get castles. You live the dream. And the problem with not doing ships is you it's hard to do that. So, I don't know. I'm thinking of the ships. And I'm just going to drop out here. Bit on the tracks. Here we go. We got a, we got a wilding attack coming up again. All right, George, what am I bidding here? You tell me. Tell me, what do you want me to bid? It'll be different from what I would bid, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or Ultra Vi Violetta, anybody, what do you, what do you guys think? Uh, I, want, I want some chat involvement here. Uh, we need the hive mind to defeat this one, I think. Three on the throne. We got seven from Lanny here. Three on the throne. Okay, all right. Zero says Leandro. See, Leandro's with me. <laughs> I go zero all day on there. I don't care early in the game on the throne. And Ultra Saiyan 1. Velko says, I cannot say, I just joined. <laughs> <laughs> you will watch from the bleachers. Or two. <laughs> all right. Uh... It's hard. This is hard for me to press yes on three. Maybe two. Wait, zero says ultra. Don't. No. 
Drone strong if everyone has low power. I, I know, saving for the crow lets me play that muster. I just need one star though. I know I need that muster. I need that consol special consolidate power order. I need that. Like to be able to muster two points a turn, almost every single turn, is huge. It's huge. We saw it. That's how I got so close to winning. I basically, I think I would have gotten to 14 if we play it, finished playing out that last round. I think so. 202. Okay. I'll go 202. See, lots of... Man, everyone's got a different opinion. I love it. Velco, 2 to the power of 3 divided by 4. Okay, sounds good. We got it with 2? We got it with 2. Would we have got it with 1? Who who had the throne before? Who had the throne before? Barra, right? Barra starts on the throne if this was a default start. So a 1 and Barra would have broke the tie... And Barrow, if, if it was real life, Barrow would choose me to win because I'm not a threat to them early in the game. But the Starks are. Okay. I don't know how good that's going to help us. At least now on the next ones, we can help. But uh, yeah, who knows if we bid one there. Maybe we still would have got it. Now what? Based on winning, this changes things. We can break ties. So we have three power left. I would say one and one is enough. Like, I think battles are going to happen. I'm going to get attacked still. We have uh, Lannister and Barra who are like, we're gonna, they're going to pound me. They're going to keep just attacking over and over again. Zero. Breaking ties. See, here's the thing. I was low on that, that fiefdom track, and that led to those deaths. Because when I was forced to play only like a 2, where if I tied I would have won, and not had to deal with deaths, like, I would have still had units alive had I been higher than my opponents on the track. I don't need to be the top, but if I was higher than my opponents, it's, it's huge. I can play weaker cards, save my bigger ones. I don't know. It's just, you just want to be higher than your opponents. You don't necessarily need to be on the top. I'm thinking 1. I'm thinking 1. I want to save a power for controlling territories too, but it's that's not that important right this minute. Zero then two guarantee stars. I just need one star though. Obviously, more would be better later, but I'm gonna go one here. <coughs> and see, we got tie. I'm on the top, just like that. This is why I put one in there. So if I didn't put a one, Lannister would have been ahead of me. Greyjoy would have been ahead of me. Martel would have been ahead of me. I see what's up here. They're all working together to screw me over and not, not help me with this objective. That's what I'm thinking there. So breaking ties. Yeah, breaking ties. Let's see. Uh, so we want Greyjoy to be above Lannister. And... Yes. I don't know if they'll ever conflict, but... And then down here, we want... Bear is annoying. We want Stark to win over Bear if we can to kind of keep them busy. That's my thought process there. Go all in on the last one. Hmm. Remember I break ties. I mean, Lannister's been saving their power, though. Everyone's kind of been saving their power. Yeah, I think I go two here. I think I go two. They didn't even bid anything. Man, maybe that was a mistake. Because remember, Wildling Attack is coming. So I should have realized that. That they, I've, I've noticed the AI does that. They don't spend bar barely anything when the wild attack, Wildling Attacks are coming. That's, that's why I'm in the situation I'm in. But now I'm going to be at zero. And then bad things are going to happen to me with the Wildling Attack. And hopefully I don't have to lose units. I'll cry. I'll cry. So we want Lannister to be down here and Martell to be down there. Greyjoy, you can have a star. Bear is kind of annoying. That's annoying. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Oh, we won. Okay, good. Power on the bid. 
The power he bid on this attack is returned. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, they didn't even spend any anyway. Okay, that worked out okay. I know, if another bid comes, I, like, I lose all this stuff. That's why, like, I, it's hard to go all in on one bid, because, like, literally the next round, you can be bidding again. <sighs> okay. Okay. So let's keep rolling. Um... I need to spread out a little bit here. I guess the round we worry about spreading out. Okay, so we're taking a guy to the arbor. We could probably do that from here, actually. We got no power to leave behind, so moving is like kind of annoying. How do I do this? I could muster ships, but... Sorry, what are you saying, Eric? Take two guys from Old Town to Starfall with Loris. Mm, it, it looks kind of ripe, but uh, remember, they could be supported by two ships right now. And I won't be able to hold it. And guys will get killed. Against Martell, they have lots of swords on their cards. I will die. I can't lose units. I can't. But it is good if a march is going to, or if a, if a consult, or um, a mustering is going to come up, that would be, that's the risk I was trying to make before, was like, take some castles, you draw a mustering card, you slap down units, and it's easier to defend it. But if you do that, you spread too thin, and the mustering doesn't come up, then you just look silly, guys get killed, retreats happen, you lose guys because the, they have nowhere to retreat, that kind of stuff. Remember in this one, we're just trying to get to 15 units on the land. Not control castles, like I know that's part of it, but it's, it's key to keeping guys alive, I think, and attacking when it's like, we can keep a force there. Oh, and then march back. Mm, we have the sword, okay. Support on the sea. Okay, let's think. Uh, so I probably should put my March plus one on here, then, is what you're saying. Old town. Worth the sea and three towers. Um, remember, three towers is not adjacent to Starfall, though, right? I don't think that's adjacent. So supporting from here does nothing, really. Unless, like, Bear was to move in, like, Dornish marches, and then I move in after. Yeah. I, I don't think a support at three towers is proper, I kind of will just take this guy and I'll either move him. I put a, put a march on three towers to either move him to the arbor if things fall apart or move him to Dornish marches maybe. I don't have a power to leave behind though. That kind of sucks. And the barrel might be kind of important. I might just save that guy there. But I also might move guys from Old Town into three towers after to cover up. So I, I don't know. Or maybe we'll see. We'll see. Three towers consolidate. Oh, good idea. Yeah, maybe just go for power. We leave them there, we march from Old Town or High Garden, put a guy on the Arbor from there then. Yeah, we need to get some power, that's for sure. That's where I'm like, I feel I'm restricted all the time. Like, I have trouble even keeping territories because of it. Alright, let's go with this. 
I do have the Messenger Raven token, so we can play around a little bit. Oh, nice. Nope. It looked like Barra and Lannister aren't really attacking. They're just playing raids there. Let's see what's going on in our area here. So yeah, the Reach they're not, didn't play defense. Uh, they're just trying to raid. We do have Blackwater, though. We, and we have a march back here, so they could do like a march to here and a march to the Reach. Hopefully they fight a little bit here, that'd be not bad. We got a raid here, that's fine. And they can't raid into the sea, so we don't have to worry about that taking our support. What did this guy do? Yeah, support from Summer Sea, I thought that might happen. Oh, Starfall is marching. They're, they're looking to spread here, probably. Maybe a little bit, somewhere. They're also marching from Sunspear. So I think they're, this is where they take like Storm's End and Yarn, Ironwood probably, which sucks because they'll do that and then they'll get to muster again and, and build their forces way faster than me. Uh, but they're only like one point musters, but still. Uh, so, replacing a token, is that a thing? Or should I just care about the Wildling deck? I don't see any issues. I don't see any issues. All right, let's just look at the Wilding deck. Ping me on the wall! All right, lowest bidder moves to the lowest position on every influence track. Everyone else, in, this is bad. In turn order, each player chooses either the Fiefdoms or King's Court influence track and moves to the lowest position. But I am first. So the everyone else part. I go first to the bottom, so then everyone kind of like... Pushes me back up a little bit, right? I don't want to throw this one away to get to the muster one as fast as possible, really. But I do worry about the one that... Uh, I don't know how to say that name, but thank you for subscribing. J J Gala, J Gala. Thank you for the support. All right, uh, so two things. I kind of want to toss this because I want to find the muster one, but then I also have that fear of finding the one that destroys units, which may be the same card. I don't remember. I don't have these all memorized. Uh, so I kind of want to just trash it because I don't care about moving around on the tracks. So just that alone makes me want to put it at the bottom. Yeah. We can find the muster one, get some power built up, and win that one. That'd be so good. So good. But we just gotta make sure we don't get destroyed units. That would that would definitely crush us. Alright. So Eric's saying you can win at Starfall with the guys in Old Town if you use Loris, remember. Hmm. All right, so if you're saying Old Town, so let's, let's, let's just look, let's just look, okay? So, Old Town, I have two support. They have four, or two support here. They're defending with four total. It'd be nice to kill them before they move. That would, that would be nice. Um, the Loris play. Oh, remember these guys here. Uh, you gotta keep in mind, Sun Spear is connected via the sea. So these guys here can march right back in right after and take Starfall back. But like part of me wants to let these guys use their marches and and thin them out a bit. Because maybe they'll do different things with their marches, thin them out. Starfall might be more ripe for the taking and I won't have a counterattack right after. I would just hate them to come in after and kill the guys at Starfall and they die if I leave anybody there. And it'd be bad if, I remember the Loris leaves a march there. So I don't know about doing this right now, but I like the idea. I just don't know about doing it right now. And you put a march there. Then they come in, they crush my guys there, and I lose that march. So, like, that might be the dumbest play ever. It's their minus one, so? They still have the Red Viper, no? Yeah? Two kills right there. Two kills. Is this worth playing my best cards... Using the Loris play right now, maybe, maybe. But it could be the dumbest play. It could be the dumbest play. Uh, you're too strong. Yeah, maybe. Okay. But I just don't know about doing it right now. But do you think they'll move guys in there in the meantime? And make it stronger here? 
Could that be a risk? Yeah, defend with mace. They do a footman. Okay. And I should just take two guys alone. Mm. If I take two guys plus one, so that's three or five. I can get up to 8 plus sword, 9, defense, they could play their 4, but that's it, okay, alright, alright, I'm convinced, uh, should I drop, uh, I don't have a way to keep this territory right now, mm, so I gotta leave a guy behind. Uh, Landy Owner says, I added you in the game, Rob. Will you be setting up any asynchronous games sometime? I, I'll play them off the stream at any time. Invite me to some async games. Put the timer nice and long. I'll play, like, between other things. Uh, like, while I'm on the computer and stuff for the day. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. No problem. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep games going. Yep. It doesn't have, yeah, it doesn't have to be on stream. It, like I was saying before in the, in the first stream I did... Add me to the buddy list, comment on videos, say, Rob, add me too, because I don't get a notification when you add me to a buddy list. I should get a notification when you invite me to a game, but I think that only happens when I go to the lobby. I'm not seeing it right now, obviously. So, yeah, I'll, I'll try to play games. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Invite me to, invite me to asynchronous games. I'll, I'll click through, I'll play, I'll try to do it as fast as I can, uh, so the game doesn't time out. But now they have that whole thing where, uh, I th oh, but that might only be in live games where you get replaced by a bot. I think you're replaced by a bot in async games when your timer runs out. But, like, I'll still play. I'll try to get it done quick. Yeah, yeah. Do it up. Let's do it up. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're moving here. I'm just debating. I'll leave the guy on Old Town. And I could maybe move one of these guys onto the Arbor. But I do want to get a guy on the Arbor. I still I want to try that to get some power going. I regret not putting uh, the move order on this guy, but that's okay. All right, let's go here. Two guys. Two guys, two guys. Oh, yeah, I can move a guy with Loris. Yes, thank you. The Knight of Flowers. Yeah, I keep forgetting I'll have an additional march. Hota play. Uh, I don't need to. The bone way. Hmm. Yes, Brathian, go mess with Stark. Leave me alone. Go worry about them. <laughs> I sent the guy to the wall. Okay, what's Lancer doing? Taking Heron Hall? Okay, that's good. Yep. Ah, I called it! Storm's End and, and Ironwood, for sure. Or Yornwood, however you say it. Yornwood. Uh, Elko says, it would be great to see 1v1. This game, not good 1v1. But, uh, some other games 1v1. But I, I won't play on Tabletop Simulator, though. You versus some of your YouTube audience. Uh, I want to set this game up where we play, like, six of us. And, and we play, like, a full game in a stream. We're, we've been talking about it in the last stream. Uh, I just need to figure out a day, and then we'll try to find when the best time is for everyone. Uh, but we're going to do it on a weekend. Maybe even this Saturday, if it works for everyone, I just need to put it in the Discord, and I forgot. Um, but we'll try and line that up. 
Yeah. I want to play and like get everyone's voice involved too, so we can you know hear people swearing at each other and stuff. <laughs> you lied to me. You said you wouldn't attack me until round four. You stole my castle. It'll be great. But for now, I'm just gonna play the solo for a bit. Give them some time to squash some more bugs in the app too. That's that's the other thing I'm thinking about. I would be so sad if we set that up, got everyone together, started playing online, and then a bug just crashes our game or makes it so like the game freezes and can't continue or something. Which I've seen some of these bugs already, so I'm a little worried. Um, but yeah, I, I need to see a patch where they fix a whole bunch of stuff. But they haven't really done that yet. I'm assuming they will. They've already patched it once since release, so. That's my only fear. All right, so kind of want to wait to see what this march does. So I think down here, let's just go. The arbor. Although, one defense here. Imagine I got to muster off this castle too. He still has his four. I don't need anyone dying, so let's not do that. <laughs> but Eric wants me to do it. Take Yornwood with the one guy. They're weak there if you have the sword. Yeah. But I'm worried about next round when they just come back in. But it might be a good play. But remember, they can throw me to the bottom of the track still. I don't want to go to the bottom one of the tracks right now. Uh, uh, I'm worried about going to the bottom of the of the, the King's Court track. Yeah, but doesn't that do it even if it, even if I win? Yeah, just just they just do it. I garden to the arbor. Yeah, I could do High Garden to the Arbor. Alright. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this feels crazy. Um, if we get to m muster off of this next turn in the Westeros deck, my god, I will love you guys for this, but man, these are the risks that burned me in the first attempt at this. <laughs> That's this kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, confirm March. I know, Eric is probably right. <laughs> I need to take the risk, because it's our third attempt at this. I need to do something different, like... Uh, but we're so close last game. Alright, so what am I playing? Am I just playing Mace? To win? Or, actually, I'm higher on the track. Well, the most they can play is Red Viper for four, so they can get up to five. So I really only need to play a two, and I can use a sword. So I think a Randall Tarly. Yeah, play a two and the sword, yeah. Oh, but they blocked it. They blocked the death. Damn it. Uh, I don't need to use a sword. So, no. Yeah, that sucks. I was hoping to kill that guy. He will come back to haunt me another day, I'm sure. <laughs> Chicken. Can I take the reach? I think. I don't have power to leave behind, so... Uh, oh, I can support somebody here? I like it when Stark was actually down here. So I want to uh, support Greyjoy. Oh no, I want to support Stark. Whoops. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up. I need Stark to win this. Ah, damn it. That was a big screw up, I think. Because it was nice having Stark here, so there was no supporting from Greyjoy when they were actually down in this area. Yeah, that was a, a mistake. That was a mistake. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hopefully I get another chance for that. Ah, that was a mistake. Oh well. What is Bear holding here? Bear's got no support on the reach. But they got their four. 
I have a knight there. I come in for two. I don't feel, feel that smart. I want it, but I don't feel that smart. Go Arbor? Yeah, I should just go Arbor, leave a guy on High Garden. Man, that's. Ugh. I want to, though. Yummy power, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can keep keep myself at the top of some tracks, maybe, if I can get the power going. Oh, but I still want to go there. Okay, that's fine. Confirm March. If I, ha if I had a power to have dropped behind, I probably would have done it, but... I don't think that would be good. Come on, muster. No, 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 no. Ooh, that's nice. Collecting some power. Only one? Yeah, see, this is the problem with... with oh, because I don't have Dornish Marches anymore. Yeah, see, with, with Tyrell where they're at, it's like so dry for power. So dry. Alright, we got some decisions. Offense orders cannot be played, or March plus one orders cannot be played. I think I want to kind of be defensively where I'm at. So playing the March plus one means they can't just come in and storm me, is how I'm thinking. So that they only have two March orders, they're weaker, I can play defense, so I can just like kind of protect these guys for a bit and hope for the next muster to come. Uh, but I don't feel like no restrictions, that's not the right call. I don't know, what do you guys think in the chat? I'm thinking March plus one orders cannot be played. Because I'm not in a position to go fighting right now, I don't think. No restrictions on the guy with the stars? I don't know, though. I don't know. Oh, I guess it doesn't really matter for Lana and Martell. Because <laughs> here's the thing, I'm, I'm worried about Lannister and Martell. Bear is going to be able to play the uh, order if they want. But these guys get no stars anyway. Well, they can't play the March plus one. So Martell's not going to be able to march twice on me. Lannister can't do, like, two marches on me. Like, I, like, you know, kind of stagger it. But yeah, I'm thinking no march just kind of, like, stops Barra from having a March plus one. But I could use a March plus one. That's true. But, like, what am I doing with that? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't need it. But what am where am I using a March plus one? What am I doing with that? Tell me. Which which area am I leaving that I want to fight somebody in? Like I'll just fight on the defense. Like I'm not leaving High Garden. Because it, these guys are right here. I'm not. Like the only reason would be to like to make guys run and consolidate. But I, I don't see that. I just want to get a guy from the three towers to leave, go to Starfall maybe, to help with protection there. Um, that's that's it really. I gotta leave a guy in Old Town. I gotta leave a guy in High Garden. Gotta leave a guy in these castles, hopefully, so that they can we can muster from there. It'd be amazing if we got the muster card next. But we'll see. Can we hold them? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I may regret it, but that's where I'm going. I don't know. I'm just not... I don't need three marches. That's the way I look at it. I just don't need three marches. I'm too spread thin. But I could consolidate, but I don't know. Nope, nope. Okay. So, let's just support ourselves. They're in Old Town? Yes, please. Uh, let's do defense plus two. My garden. Or your wood. No, not up here. We don't need the defense two up here. These have got a garrison. This guy's the only guy marching. He's probably going to the Dornish Marches, but probably to Starfall. No, probably Dornish Marches. I need to get power. Even with these jerk faces here.
Raid would be better? Where, where, where? Where do you want to raid, Eric? I know I have the Raven Switch, so I was thinking in my head was like, I could just Raven Switch whatever here, but... Where were you thinking the raid? Like, I would like to get some power off West Summer Sea? Down here? But to raid what? To raid them supporting themselves with ships in the East Summer Sea? Take out Martel support. Okay. Okay. I could see that. I could see that. But then I have no support for high... Oh, I do have high garden support right here. Oh, I should have put the plus one here then. Yeah. Okay. Let's put the plus one here. I could switch it too if needed. It, it, we'll see what happens, right? But I'll put the plus one here because it would suck to switch out the plus one. I'll, I'll keep the plus one where it's going to stay. It does just even out. Yeah, that's the weird thing. So it's like, I don't know what the point, but... Mm, yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't like it. No, I don't like it. I'm just worried on two fronts here. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's up. We'll see what's up. You might be right. You totally might be right. But, I don't know. Hard, man. Hard. Let's see what they're doing. A uh, support. Like, they're supporting for two. I'm supporting for two. Does it matter? They're, they're marching from here. And they can march all the way into Starfall. This is where I feel that's going. Or they can march onto a, a Yarnwood here. But this these, these ships don't matter. Even though Starfall and support. Put support on Starfall. Protect iron. See, this is the thing. The Bone Way right now can get to either. So I think if I take the defense off here, the they just go after Starfall. If I change this to support, Starfall becomes weaker. But I mean, that might be okay. They would come in with oh, they're coming in with minus one. Yeah, they might attack Yornwood. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. But I, I do kind of want to look at the Wildling card, though, too. So I have that knowledge, so I don't get screwed over from having units destroyed. Starfall supports ships. Oh, whoops. Oh, I switched. I hit the wrong thing. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. I wish I could go back and undo. I don't know why I put that there. That should be a support. Oh, yeah, I messed up. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> oh, and I shouldn't put a support here because these guys could just raid anyway. That was dumb. So dumb. Why did I even touch that stuff? Just left it. It just left it. I messed up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. George, I'm not listening to you anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fedora says, can you play this game with the physical game on your table and use the digital app for the AI, basically? I don't see why not. You could just copy what they do in the moves. But they go fast, though. And I, I don't know if there's a log. There's no, like, log to see what they did. So it'd be very messy. If you add one AI, maybe, but if you're playing with five other AI, it just whizzes through their turns too quick, you wouldn't be able to keep up. So I would say no. I would say no. And then you'd have to like be looking around the board like, what did they do? What did they do exactly? What card did they play? I didn't see that. You know, it does stop on combat, but like what just happened all there? Like, unless you could rewind, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's a way to see, but <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. I misclicked there. That was my bad. <laughs> uh, okay, March order to resolve. We only have one. 
Where are we going? We could go to Starfall, just help this guy out. Right? That's what I was thinking. Or we, oh, we go to Prince's Pass maybe? But these guys will go in there. But then they're not supported. Hmm. No matter where this guy goes, he's going to be the target of the attack. Not the castles, I don't think. I think the AI would get greedy and they would, they would bite me. Safe play, just go to Starfall. Greedy play, go to Prince's Pass. Martel has some kill cards. Do I have my defense card still? Worst case, I lose and I defend, right? Use it as bait. Yeah, I'm thinking of going here. We get an extra barrel and a crown. If we keep it, that's great. That's great. I'm going to do it. Getting risky. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Yeah. Didn't see who that was going to happen based on every game we've seen so far. Five on the defense. Six on the defense. No, 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 no. We can't let them win. They won't win with the three anyway. Can they even win at all? They can't win. We could just play my zero here. We're good. They wasted their zero. They're just trying to get through cards, I guess. No. Cornish March. Yeah, they're just spreading out. They're just spreading out. They ran away. They're chickens. We scared them, boys. We scared them. <laughs> Filthy. Damn snakes. Wids are coming down. Here's the problem. See, this is what happens when you let Greyjoy take over some seas and like, oh man. Stark should have been in there cutting that off. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Here's Greyjoy. I'm gonna mess with everybody. Starks are just letting everyone take him out here. Start with sieges yet? No, you can't ask for alliances in these. In these, um, I don't think you can do it in these. Uh, in these uh, challenges, that's the problem. I would have loved to align with one of my neighbors every time, but it's not there. That that chat window alliance thing's missing. All you can do is look here, and none of these do anything. It's like a it's that speech bubble button, but it's it's missing in this mode. Yeah, that's it. That's all we get. Nope. I don't think there's a way to click the house. Nope. I don't see any button that lets us do it. Alright. Mustering two points. Can easily just drop two footmen. That we then, if we get a muster, we can still upgrade them and stuff. Sieges and footmen and stuff. I'm going to do that. Different port and a dude. That that's the way I would have normally played the game, yes. Older of the Iron Throne. Oh, oh, oh. George, I love you, buddy. Thank you. Here we go. Throne of Blades. <laughs> I don't have to rely on someone else saying we get to muster or not. I, I could reconcile armies, but I don't want to. I think I want to muster. Because of all the castles, right? But the problem is I'm gonna be a little tight. I still have room though. I still have room for mustering. I'm gonna muster. 
what I've been waiting for. I, I went footman here just so if I got the muster coming, which I, it did just happen, uh, I can upgrade these guys and they still stay within my army of three. So I can be like uh, two knights or a knight in a siege and stuff. But again, I, I it's all focus on land. I don't know. Okay. So let's, let's worry about our borders first. Let's upgrade to a knight. Um... I'm debating just putting a knight here, but yeah, let's do this one first, actually. To do knight, and then a port, a ship and a port for power. Yeah, okay, let's do that now, actually. That's fine. That's it for ships, that's it. <laughs> that's, I spent too many points in ships. That's it. I hit my max. <laughs> okay, so here we can do footmen and upgrade to a knight. Down here. What can I think? Yeah. Still didn't even max out our armies. Uh, I don't know. I probably should have looked at what they can muster, but that's not my goal. I just need to get to 15. But Martel's weak in the mustering, so that was a good play. They don't the three influence tracks. Ugh. They have so much more power than me. Oh, I'm gonna lose some stuff here. I don't know what to do. I say one on the first one, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Input? Input from the chat? What do we got here for, for bidding this time? Three on the sword? Yeah, keep the attack going. Uh, that sounds good. I could go for that. I hope we just keep a star though. I just have to keep higher on the track than my opponents. I, I haven't even used the sword yet, I don't think. Or I did once. I did once, maybe. Maybe not even. That's idea. And Martel can still drop you. Maybe save it all, hope for another bid come soon. I'd like to save one power to at least drop down on areas I leave. But that's okay. Yeah, the throne for the extra monster did its job. Alright, I'm, I'm going with Eric's suggestion. We're going three on the sword. Whoops. <laughs> Great joy, eight. Oh my god. Uh, let's... Oh, I like it. We'll leave it the way it is. Go before our neighbors, except for Lannister. I want to go zero, zero, zero. I don't know, I like this whole combat winning thing. Yeah, I'm going three. Alright. It kept us, if we did just two there, or zero, we'd definitely be way at the bottom of the track. Uh, if we did two, Greyjoy could have given it to Martell or Lannister, but we, we got the sword. We, we cut the sword, Eric, are you happy? <laughs> I, I'm kind of happy. This is a different play than I usually do, but in this scenario, you gotta change up. Like, if you're having trouble, you gotta you gotta think outside the box. I like it. Uh, okay. Oh, they're choosing. All right. 
Let's just get, come on, one star. Just give me one star. Uh, no, we're at the bottom. <laughs> that, that hurts. Oh. Oh, it's our choice again. Okay, now what do we want to do? I think the March plus one again. <laughs> I think we don't play March plus one since I can't play it anyway. Yep. I think that's easy. Yeah, not having the consolidate power sucks. All right, well, we know what's happening here. We know what's happening here. Here, port. Here, I think support. Here. Where do we want to defend the most? I feel like Prince's Pass in Yornwood? I don't know if I should march maybe here, but not really. Ah, actually, Greyjoy's here. Oh, I gotta be defensive here, too. I think we're okay. Should support from here, but I think I didn't move from here. I need to keep spreading a little bit. Support here. I'm glad they took their support from here though. The Baratheons took away Martell's support. That's great. Oh, nice. Okay. Rajo's going for the reach. I like it. I like it. Rajo's winning. And since they can't retreat anywhere, I guess. Yeah, they couldn't retreat anywhere. So the Barras are done. They're not. They're out of my hair now. And Martell's kind of moving up towards Baratheon this time. That's kind of good. I kind of pushed them up that way. I like it. But Greyjoy, get out of here. What are you doing? Get out of here. Uh, what does Greyjoy have for cards? Can I take care of them? Mm, they can play a three or a one. I could march some guys into here first. And then march in with four. It would be defending with four. We could play a three, go to seven. I'm higher on the track. I have uh, the sword. And I can kill. Yeah, reinforce high garden to take the reach. Is that what I'm Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. All right. So we're going to go here with this guy. Uh, Martel, what are you holding? All your cards. I don't want to have a guy die. I want to go fight this guy here in the Dornish Marches, but I think it's fine right now. Spread them out so I can get some more muster points in there. Um... Yep. Dark running away. Oh. Kill the guy at the marches. Uh, 
I don't know. I could have maybe done it. Should have maybe done it. I still can from here. Instead of the reach, but I, I think we want to reach. So, 4v4. And this is Greyjoy. They can play a 3. Then get up to 7. As long as I can match 7, I'm good, but even 6 in the sword is still good. Well, I just need to play a 2. I'm going to look at my cards and post it up first. I think we're okay. Yeah, and then we play this and kill two. They can't, oh, they can defend for one. Damn it, I forgot about that. I thought it was only a sword. Uh, we don't need to use the blade. I forgot they had a march there. That was a little worrisome. Come on, show me a muster. Alright, there we go. I mean, I'm kind of kind of reaching some army limits here. Uh, I kind of need to consolidate. Or, or uh, maybe it would have been a better play to do the barrels last turn, but uh, supply. That's okay. That's okay. Alright. I have an army of three somewhere, which has to be here because we don't want to waste that mustering point, right? Uh, and here. I have one more army of two, which will be here because we don't want to lose a mustering point there. We can't make an army of two here. We have two ships. If I want to make sure I get all my mustering points. I got to be careful here. Oh, but the ships will make an army of two. Ah, uh, I could put a siege here, or just another knight. Yeah, I'm kind of restricted here. I think I just go here with a f another knight. No, I do a footman. No oh, knight here. Each. Oh, I have no knights left. Oh, that's the problem. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I'm locked out. Man, that muster came out the wrong time. I needed like to to do the the uh, reconcile your supply or whatever. Yeah, that's messy. I don't know. It's like say you can't like go back and change and stuff. But whatever. Hard because you can't see like what you have available all the time. Bidding. We're bidding again. I think I'm doing the same thing. Oh, wildlings are attacking too. I don't know the card. All right. Oh. Feeling like just a one here. Two. Even with wildling attack coming. Even with wildling attack coming. And I kind of need a star here would be great. But again, I can't muster really right now, so it doesn't matter. All right. Nope. You convinced me. 
I didn't stay at the top, but I'm higher than my enemies, so that's... Uh, yeah, 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 that's fine. I don't know. I kind of don't want to be the lowest bidder on the Wildling card. Wildlings are attacking at 6 only, though. We may not even lose. Yeah, I'm going to bet that they'll... Bid enough that we win. But then they might bid. Zero. You think we're going to lose the Wildling at six? Total power they have before this bid is six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we might lose it. Man, that consolidate. I'm so close. I can taste it. But I can't really muster anyway, so yeah. All right. Oh, we make it. We get any? No, it's still no stars. No stars, really? We're still on the bottom. That's junk. Wildlings attack. We lost, but yep, good thing. This is the destroy. The lowest bidder would have destroyed two other units. But I only destroy one. This, ah, this card. This card. Oh, Greyjoy burned a ship. Could help us with mustering limits too. <laughs> I don't know. I have a power on this spot? How do I know? How do you know? If I kill this guy, do I still have this spot? I feel like I placed a power here this game. But like, I don't know how you know. Because this guy I feel like is the weakest link to go away. But also, I could just kill like a guy at the reach here. I don't know, what do you guys think? Who, who am I killing here? One one unit somewhere. I don't, I know it's the Prince's Pass. I haven't dropped a power there. Yes, the banner. Nakish banner. Oh, that's what this banner means? Oh, okay. Area control of the power. Oh, wow. Why don't they just put a crown in there? I guess it might look too much like this. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. I got it. I got it. All right. So let's kill this guy. Mm-hmm. We make a push for King's Landing. Get some siege engines up here and kind of move them across. Be a cool play. Be a cool play. Could also push for uh, Sunspear, <laughs> but I doubt we'd be able to take it. So much support. Don't know what to do with these guys. I wish I could muster. I'm four away, two muster rounds in a row. I could spread out, maybe. I don't know. I take King's Landing. No. No. I'd go for Blackwater though. Gotta watch out for these guys. They're gonna make a play too. Hey Pickle. Um Okay, well we know this. We know this. We maybe play a raid on this. We play a support on this. We want to get this guy out of the Dornish Marches, I think. Feel like we play a march here. Feel like we play a march or a defense here. I want to, I want to march here, but oh. 
Like the siege is doing nothing here right now, but but support does nothing. It does nothing on support. Um, I just want to move it somewhere. Maybe do a shift here. Sieges are not in good places. I agree. I, I mustered them completely wrong. I'll put them on the background because usually I like to leave them in the back. So then later I'd use ships to just like bring them where I need to take them. But right now going across land, they're in horrible spots. But I was just trying to use mustering points and I thought I don't want them on the front lines because they would just get attacked if I'm not pushing forward. They're just weak off. They're weak defensively, right? So march in Old Town. Yeah, get, get that out of there. What I was thinking... But then I leave this open, and I have no power to plop there, so that's the other problem. But I could march a guy in there from High Garden, maybe. So, no, I'd have to put the march here. I just don't like leaving Old Town neutral. Or do I control it still because I have a ship there? I think I control it because I still have a ship in the port, right? If I remember correctly, yeah, March High Garden, yeah. I know these Greyjoys, these filthy buggers, are going to attack here. But they might attack the Reach again, though. And then I got the Boneway coming at the Reach, too, probably. Looks like, uh... Yeah, I know, I'm, I just can't remember if a ship keeps it controlled. Player may muster ship units into a connected port. Yeah, okay. Orders and ports. I don't know. Only one way to find out, I guess. <laughs> Only one way to find out. A support in High Garden? Yep. I like that. I want to spread this out a little bit if I can. Even if it's just like moving into the Kingswood or fighting these guys or fighting this guy or something or going into Blackwater. Like these guys are going to want to come in down to Blackwater, I think. They're going to come down, but. Famous last words. <laughs> All right, what are these guys doing though? I don't have enough orders. My orders are all messed up. I hate being at the bottom of this track. It, it, it feels very bad. <laughs> very, very bad. All right, what's happening? Yep, Boneway's marching. Oh, they got raided, that's cool. Definitely burning this support here in the bottom right. Right? What's up here? Nothing. Let's see, he's open. Oh, they would have burn that support anyway. <laughs> Answer is marching from Heron Hall to where? Where did they go? I missed that. Alright, here we go. They're attacking the weakest spot. Let's see. So they're coming in with four. Uh, what cards do they have? Yep, they got the Viper if they want to kill two. Obara to kill two. Oh, please don't move me to the bottom of a track. Not that it matters. I'm already in the bottom of two. Uh, I'm above them though, right? On the combat. So I just have to tie. I don't see that happening. I destroy the footman, I take him down to three. They can still play the Viper, still win. This is a bad spot. I block one sword, but not two. Hmm, what should I do? 
it just Yeah, see they went viper, it's crazy aggressive buggers. I kill my dudes. No, that's what I could do. And I, I held that prince's pass for so long and I didn't get a benefit off that damn barrel. Nothing. I need the barrels. I need that to cash in. This is dangerous right here. This is dangerous. What are these guys doing? So the threat here is Barra coming in and taking the reach next turn. Bridge the pass, battery to hold. Yeah, I was saying that earlier in the stream, actually. I have the neighboring spots, though. I could have played, like, supports and helped that and played a defense on that spot. Maybe gone a little better there, but I left it open. I kind of, like, didn't value it as much as I should. Oh, here's Sajat. Going to start asking about something else. The 7th Citadel campaign just ended. Sweet. I, I don't really want to know anything about it until it arrives. So if you can just remind me when it's actually shipping uh, in a couple of years, that'd be great. <laughs> Other than that, I don't care anything about the updates. Unless I need to update my address. But yeah, what would they would they rake in? Actually, we could probably look here. Oh, it's 7th uh, Citadel Kickstarter. Where is it? In Euros. How do I... Let's switch it to... Oh, I do have US dollar. I don't know. So it's in Euros. Let's do some conversion. They raised like $3.85 million. Okay, that's good. And then Canadian. $5 million Canadian. Okay. Okay. For a box of cards, that's really good, I think. Yeah, pretty good for a box of cards. <laughs> pretty good. How am I salty? What am I salty about? I'm just saying, like, to make millions? Like, if you don't have minis in your box, like, that's that's tough to make, like, tons. And they did it with the box of cards. I'm saying that's huge. It's impressive is what I'm trying to say. Like, those poker chips are worth that much money? Oh, poker chips are pennies. Poker chips are pennies. I've ordered poker chips to use as premium health in games. Yeah, you go on Amazon or eBay, you can buy poker chips like... Yeah, Chip Theory makes tons of money off those poker chips. Yeah, those are cheap too. I'm just saying it attracts more money when you have miniatures in your game. Uh, I'm not comparing it to the poker chips. That's not a... Tr Chip Theory doesn't do that big on Kickstarter, really. They're still kind of small. 140 US dollar box of cards. Yeah, that explains the 3.88 million. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a pricey box of cards plus shipping and plus um plus backer kit or whatever money they make in the pledge managers like that's they'll clear like six million US probably after late pledges and stuff come in and, and that kind of thing and 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 people buying extra stuff when they before they check out add-ons and whatnot maybe 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 not. Uh, Massive Darkness 2 although also gathered 3.8 million. The only problem is Massive Darkness 2 has like stigma around it. Seventh Continent doesn't. So it's kind of sad then Seventh Continent didn't like do better than Massive Darkness 2. I would have expected it to. Yeah. No worries, Sajan. No worries. Yeah, yeah. That's cool to know. 
Good for them. Good for those at Sirius Pulp. That's cool. Didn't do as good as I thought, though. I was thinking it would hit, like, 7 million US. Based on, like, how well I thought 7th Citadel, uh, 7th Continent buzz would have had it. But I have a feeling a lot of people got haven't played through 7th Continent or didn't like it as much as they thought they would. Or it's collecting dust on people's shelves and they just don't want to buy another box of cards to play because they still haven't gotten through the first one. I don't know. But yeah. Maybe the the gimmick, uh, like the the kind of like, I don't know, like Seventh Continent is like very unique, and I think maybe that's kind of like worn off. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Maybe I don't know. Or just too many damn Kickstarters means people don't want to spend any more money because they've spent so much money on Kickstarters this year, and we're going through like a pandemic and like economic issues in lots of countries. But yet Kickstarter, keep pumping out million dollar Kickstarters every week. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so what are we doing here? I, I like I don't really want to do much. This, I want to test this move, but I don't know where I'm moving it to. High Garden, maybe. Can't move it to High Garden. I need to move guys out of here. I need to split this up first. I need to split this up first. So what are we doing here? Do I just march one guy into the bone way. But then he gets killed by the Storm's End guys. Supported too by ships. Tony set, ready to march in, take back Blackwater. Uh, this is rough. I'm at this spot where like I'm too surrounded. I I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this one out. Like that early the early power is kinda like waning now. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, Sajant, though, this is not, this is not, like, the first 7th Citadel Kickstarter, if you think about it. It's really the third 7th Continent Kickstarter, so, like, the buzz off of that game should have spilled into this game. So this is not, I don't think it'll do the same where it's, like, I, I don't think it's different enough from 7th Continent that a second Kickstarter coming down the road after people played it two years from now, hyping it up, that it'll do a gangbuster second one. I feel like it's not... Like, Seventh Continent came out, nobody even knew what was going on there. Nobody understood what it was. It needed to get out there. But everyone knows what Seventh Continent does now. Everyone's seen it. You could find all about it. There's videos everywhere. And Seventh Citadel, you have no problem finding out about that game now. You can either have played Seventh Continent, look up Seventh Continent, and there was tons of videos about Seventh Citadel. So I, I feel like that's not the same. It's like really like a... This is like their third chance at hyping it up. So I, I feel like that's kind of bad that it didn't do as big. And I don't think a second Kickstarter is going to, like, by people getting that game in their hands, is going to change that many people's minds. It's it's more of the same, kind of. Don't get me wrong, I backed it, I love it, I'm looking forward to it. But realistically thinking, it's like, it's it's not the same as, like, it's not like such an unknown thing like Seventh Continent was. Leandro's in here, Dornish marches, the absence of Consolidate Armies is sad. Yeah, Dornish Marches. Hmm. Martel. Gotta be careful. They can drop me to the track. That's fine. If they lose, they could stop me from marching in there. Or if they win, they kill. Yep. Hmm. What's Greyjoy? They can't march right now, right? So I don't have to worry about that. Anyone a threat to me right now? Just these guys. Just these guys. But maybe they'll fight these guys. That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right. 
We are higher on the track. They only have a two. We just have to play a one, and we're higher on the track, right? Save our mace. Shouldn't pin my mace though. I think I'm gonna play this. Although, yeah, I think it might be bad. Yeah, they're gonna put me bottom of the track. Oh, bottom of the fifth track. Oh, so even even if I played for the tie, uh, oh, I still would have been good, but that's gonna hurt. All right, Greyjoy's lined it up so they can bring some more down. Oh, nice, Lannister's fighting Greyjoy. Sweet. Hey, okay. they didn't just go into the Blackwater. Mr. Kicks Greyjoy out. Uh, what are you guys saying here? Velko says, honestly, loved your Jaws Line playthrough and don't intend to buy anything Gloomhaven related until I finish entire campaign. This is, I presume, why people did not back it that much. Back. <laughs> Uh, so just one more off topic and then I'm gone today. I lost an 8 to 11 solo conquest mage knight game by leaving two orcs in the Volcare camp alive and spawn in place of the second city. <coughs> yeah, yeah. You need George to help you out there. Yeah, I got I got I saw your comment about mage knight. I'll get that back to the table eventually, but uh yeah. No rush on that one right now. I do want to get playing that again, but I have other stuff I want to play o over that, so. Yeah, yeah. I do miss playing it. I do miss playing it. I'm just dreading having to, like, relearn and get back into it again. That's the only thing. Every, like, week that goes on that I don't play Mage Knight, or I don't play Cloud Spire, or any of those big, meaty games, it's just me dreading, like, I start forgetting more things, learning new games, and then it makes it harder to get back into it. So I just dread it a little bit, to be honest. But once you, like, get through the rules again and get back into it, it's like... It's like, wow, why did I wait? Why did I wait? Uh, but yeah, all right. Who's March order to resolve? Well, this one, I want to take this guy up here. Yeah, see, I lost Old Town. Ah, so having a ship in the port does not control land. I thought so. I thought that didn't happen, but that's okay. I can cancel it. Like, I can cancel it, which I think I'm going to do. No, no. Yeah, get back there. Um, yeah, I should just leave that guy there. I think. Bad spot-ish. I don't know. What do I do? I don't want to get that siege going east, but... Yeah, I don't want to lose Old Town, just in case. Yeah, it's, it was just like a waste. I don't know. That's That sucks. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. Yeah, that's fine. supply track oh f in time <laughs> and we just need a dirty march to happen uh okay sitting on the tracks again get out of here okay we need that consolidate i'm doing zero zero one uh three i think zero zero three any any arguments to that 
I need to get a star. I need to play the consolidate. I have we have we're in round six. We have three rounds left basically. If I can get a couple consolidates there, not have guys die. I really want to go all in on that last track. But maybe I don't need to, because everyone's at like two power, one power, four power. Like maybe I don't need to put all three on that last one. Maybe put one on the second track. Do I need to save a power uh, for keeping Old Town and moving that siege out? One, zero, two, you have a large chance of doing better. Yeah, that one on the first one could get me the Iron Throne. Or zero, one, two. Yeah, zero, one, two is where I'm thinking. But I like George's thinking of maybe putting one on the first one. I could, like, who knows? I could get the Iron Throne. And then it just makes me busting ties after that. Amazing. But, like, that's a long shot, I think. Because right now, I don't even know who is in the lead. Rayjoy would still be breaking ties if we tied on the Iron Throne, so I doubt I would get it. Yeah, I'm going zero, one, two. They all went zero. George, you were right. You were right. I should have went one right there. Oh, <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> Damn it. Can I rewind? Can I do that again? Where's Greyjoy sticking me? Bottom of the track, of course. This is trash. Come on, man. We're not even enemies. We're buddies. All right. That means they're saving it. They're saving it for like this in the last track. One was a better call, but you click. Get out of here, Brian. <laughs> okay, what do we get here? Great Joy's going to break ties. They put Stark in the top. I'm fourth. You. Look at this guy. Come on, man. Yeah, I should have been one on that first one. That was a doopy doop. Doopy doop. I should have went zero and three. I know. I should have went zero and three after that happened. Oh, pfft. and they go in zero on the last one. Fuck. All right. Defense orders cannot be played. Okay. Oh, that may be bad for me. Might be bad for me. Yeah, I messed up with that muster putting those sieges where I put them and stuff, but like, I, what else are they gonna do? Jump, drop a bunch of ships in? I don't know. Oh, I, I kinda just wanna make my land units stronger, but that maybe didn't happen. <sighs> Alright. Old Town. Muster. Yeah, support. Hmm. I were to march from somewhere. Okay, these Martells are going to wreck me down here. Kind of need to run. But if a muster comes, like, that's huge. But I, I don't think I'll still hold these places. Maybe, though. Yeah, this guy's getting wrecked. Uh, 
I don't know what to do. Yeah, support at High Garden. Um, this guy will raid. This guy. March. Yeah, this feels very awkward. Very, very awkward. <laughs> this is bad news. I I don't know if we're gonna do it, guys. I don't know. This is I'm in a very bad spot. Very, very bad spot. Er. Okay, they supported, didn't raid, that's good. Oh, they raided here. Ah, so they might raid up here. But they could raid our support down here. This would suck. Um, little chance. All right. Still can do it though. Um. Well, these guys are attacking, but a minus one. Nothing can really do there. These guys are attacking. Oh, the ships aren't supporting. Uh, so I could... No, I can't switch. These guys are attacking. Yeah, it's obvious. It's obvious, like, what was going to happen here. Um, I got nothing. I don't even know. Could change your ships to a raid. If if I change this to a raid, uh, like there is a chance these guys are gonna raid up here. So like I kind of don't want to switch. Like what's what's that? Like I, I have the chance right now of keeping the support against these guys' support. I could change this to a raid to take away their support. But who goes first in the raids? Greyjoy's first, so they would raid me first anyway. So I wouldn't even be able to raid these guys here. So I don't know. I'm just gonna eat it. Uh, highest bidder may retrieve one house card. Okay, destroys three. Th oh man, that's a bad one. I don't want to destroy units everywhere. Bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Nope. I would not fare well on that one. No. Bottom of deck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Bottom of the deck for sure. Because I, I would lose and that would hurt. We just need to squeak to that 15 on the land. I don't know if we can, though. We're in a bad spot. We'll have this round in the next two, though. We can muster two points every round and only, like, lose one or two guys. That's fine. We don't need a big muster to hit. All right, this guy is doing what? Nothing. What did they raid? Oh, they raided me. You filthy bastards. Yep, they raided me down here in the West Summer Sea. Ah. Yep, they would have got me anyway, so whatever. I know, if normal gameplay, uh, like where am I at? <laughs> normal gameplay, I'm crushing it. Like, look. <laughs> but we can't play normal gameplay here. Like, I'm, I feel very restricted. Like, I'm not playing my normal game. That I would play with host Tyrell. All right, now let's not misclick on this one. Uh, what's happening here? We got a fight here. If Greyjoy wins, then it stops Lannister from being able to march in on me. We kind of want to help Greyjoy. You know, they kind of are crushing anyway. I don't know. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. Catch phase. That's bear holding still. Okay, they got some low cards. They're gonna attack me though. And right here, they're gonna go for the reach, I think. Oh, they discarded Edward Stark, that's what it's Oh! You trolls, you stupid trolls. You guys are like, just, just getting in there causing trouble. They're gonna go for Old Town next, I think. If I don't beef it up. You gotta beef it up right now. Uh, okay. Yep. I can only play one card. Got it. What are we doing? This is weird. Very weird. What is Martell are they in a spot? They have a one and a two. This is a chance? Is this is this a time I kill these buggers right here? Can I do it? Plus one? I come in with three. I'm above them on the track. Hold on, they have four for defense. The most they can play is a two. So there's six. They would just retreat here though. But I could kill a footman. Or, or, do I have a double sword? Can I get it with a two? Let me think of the math. I'm a little burnt here. Let me think of the math. I'm supported from the C for one. This guy's coming in for three, so that's four on four. They can get up to six. I just need to get to six. So I play a two, I kill two of them. Live in the dream. Right? Can't go wrong, right? <laughs> Gonna get you boys. You, you came a little too close. I need that barrel back, by the way. I need I need that barrel. I'm sorry guys. I need that barrel. I lower lose the orange marches, but Maybe not. We'll see what happens. There's my support. There's my support. Alright. Most they can play as a two. I play a two. Mr. Garland Tyrell. Smoke him. Yeah, but I can't take it though. Yeah, they're gonna send me back. Yeah, I thought that might happen. But that's okay. That's okay. They still have to retreat. I still have that barrel though, right? Oh no, they kicked out my token. Yeah, yeah, they kicked out my token. Duh. I can march a guy in there from here. Hmm. Yeah, I could spread these guys out a bit. March the engine? I know, what else is it doing, right? I was thinking that. I'll probably get killed by this guy next turn, if I'm not careful. Just in case we reconsolidate armies, like the supply or whatever, uh, I don't want to mess around. Uh, okay. Muster. Three more units. Three more units! Why is we even lost anyone there? Oh, muster, muster, muster. <laughs> I wish I had the Iron Throne still. <gasps> He's letting us muster? No way. Can we just do it? We have room in our armies, I think. Gotta be land units, though. I don't know if we can do it. Uh, I don't know if we can spread out enough, because I, I'm, uh, I can get two more armies, one more of two, so I can, I can put a two here, but then the army of three, I have one more army of three, so I can do one here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can right now, but it puts me one away, right? Yeah, I can get two at least. So let's just play smart then. Let's just get as much on the on. You can even put some ships in, I think, right? Oh no, we can't, cause the seas would be. I, I need to use up the land. 
Okay, where's important to put an army of three? I think the reach still. Yeah, let's do the reach. Uh, Starfall? Reach in Yornwood? Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do Yornwood. Yeah, that's all I got. Two points. Yeah, as long as we can survive this turn. I don't know where we're consolidating or where we're getting... We gotta... Yeah, this is still tough. Alright, what do we do here? I'm going... You guys choose the bid. I don't even know what to do. We need, we need a star, though. Like, we need a star. And raid orders cannot be played, so it's not going to mess with us there. Having all the stars would be huge. The right influence bid is 102 with a question mark. How, how is it the right influence bid if you're not even sure? <laughs> we got a 102. I would personally go 012. They're only at 1, 1, 2, 3, and 3. So like, but we are two away from a wildling. We got to be careful. All in on Crow, so 003 Ultra says. 102, this is Brian. I like all the question marks. Nobody's like, nobody's confident. <laughs> Rob, when everyone is low on power, Iron Throne is very important. Okay, you're right, you're right. You know, you know. You figured out the key there. Uh, okay, so 102. I, I mean, that convinces me. And I see a couple 102s. No, we'll go 102. We'll go with here as Brian. Which is just copying George, but we'll just go with that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't know. I feel... Uh, okay. 102. Okay. Uh, uh. So, tie will be broken by Greyjoy, right? No, he gave it to Martell. Ew. You all right so zero here still martell come on these guys are trouble yeah that sucked so i need to do what two there to win then i would only have so still do a zero zero still okay uh all right hey, martell holy Holy, they're sneaky. So Martell are now trouble for me because they break ties. They have the Valyrian Steel Blade. Like, I'm a little bit worried now. And for cards, they're about to cycle through and they're holding a sword. Like, that could be trouble. If they can kill one or two of my units, like a Red Viper play plus Obara, could be falling down on units. I have at least two stars. So you're saying go two here. I got the top. I got the top. But I got moved to second thanks to Martel. You buggers. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, so the key here is to spread out and then muster with two points. That's like the most important thing. I've, I have a feeling I'll lose a guy at least this turn. Maybe two. I need one to win. Now a lot of defend and support. But where is the muster going and how... I can't do an army of three right now. So I have to move or... I have to split up... Yeah, I'm, I, I don't, I'm thinking of mustering Highgarden. Hoping to defend it. <sighs> split up reach. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Split up the reach to break that up so I can muster at Highgarden. Also need to get these sieges. I don't know what to do. I 
Can we move someone to Blackwater? Yeah, I was thinking that. E even if it gets attacked, I, I don't know. I just don't know where I'm retreating at that point. I would I would have to lose the guy, or bring him back here, and then. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be like contested by the Boneway Kingswood. And the Sea Road marches are all gonna be going hard for the Reach. I think. I think I play a march here. Because then maybe we clear out Old Town to help us in the next round. I'll show you what I want to do. Can't split up Old Town right away, but what I think is going to happen, I think either this area at Dornish Marches or Three Towers are going to get attacked. Even maybe Starfall, and if that does and those guys die and they can't retreat or something like that or they get stabbed and they're killed, I can spread Old Town kind of back into those places maybe and maybe even win. I don't know. That's my theory. Worst case, it just doesn't get used, but I want the option... So if one of my front lines kind of gets shredded a bit, I can move Old Town out, and then I can consolidate power next turn on Old Town. And it's kind of more safe. Oh yeah, I need to protect this though. I need to protect this. So sadly, I think... Oh, I can't play... Oh yeah, I don't have to protect it. No, no raids. Oh boy. Oh boy, no raids, no raids. Old Town support would also be good. It would be good. If I, if I'm I'm just also thinking next turn, and I, I I'm I'm worried. But next turn I could just put a consolidate on High Garden. If I still control High Garden, I put a support on High Garden, or a, a consolidate power on High Garden muster, and then raid from the sea to protect it from raid from Sea Road marches. Yeah. And support plus one I need? Okay, okay. So the march plus one is not important, right? Support plus one here. That's true. If I'm trying to win right now, I'm just worried I'm not going to. But yeah, if I play it right, yeah, like you're saying, support, defend. Yeah. So maybe here I don't defend and here I do? Oh, but this one I still want to spread out, right? I still need to muster this turn. Yeah, I still need to spread this out. Hmm. It spread this out too, actually. Like Yornwood, if I can break that up and move a guy into here, then that's not an army. Then I can I can have a little more breathing room. Hmm. Old Town support plus one is better than Dornish March's defense plus two. Yep. Uh, do I have Loris? Yes, I have Loris. I have Mace Tyrell. Like I have, I I feel comfortable a little bit, but you're saying defense plus one here, maybe a march plus one here. I just know these jerk faces will go after whatever's the weakest. Which marches to defense plus one. Yep, done. And reach march plus two. Yep. Or march plus one, you mean, right? 
And three towers to zero, just in case. Yeah, because the, the three towers would help me take Starfall back, if, if that was the case. Maybe. Maybe. Just... I feel like it's cheeky, but I feel like doing this just to spread these guys, and then doing this. I may not move the guy from Yornwood, but it does leave the option if Salty Shore is open. I can just spread into there. And that breaks up some armies, so that way I can I can move like a 3 into a 2. Uh, or I can, you know, like I can move a guy from the Reach just into my own territory safely. And, and not hit my army limits. Fence plus 2 on Yornwood. Um, uh, I can only play 3 stars. So it's either the March... Yeah. Okay. I like it. Yeah, let's get this out of here. Let's go back with the original defensive plan. I'm down. Flipping and flopping all over the place. Uh, back to this. Back to this. Yep. Sticking with it. May not be the best, but... We got a gamble. Oh, I see Martel played a defense on one of those one of those armies down by my place there. So, yeah. Oh, nice. Look at Martel didn't even attack me down here. So all that craziness was for nothing. I should have left the Ironwood. Maybe they did that because of the defense on Ironwood or Yornwood. But uh, if I left the march there, to be able to split would have been nice to either of these locations. But that's fine. That's fine. Don't need to get greedy with it. Uh, okay, so it's our march order. So we have Greyjoy coming here with six. And supporting from the sea. Ugh. But I'm defending with six plus my support from two seas. I'm defending for eight there. Oh, plus, plus Old Town. Yeah, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, yeah, we need to see where this Kingswood's happening first. I gotta be careful. Um, and remember, these Cracklaw Point guys, I don't know with their their limits, if they could, but they, they I know physically they can move from Cracklaw Point to beef up the Kingswood army. I'd be worried about that if it was a real player. Uh, but they could beef up this army, then come in and attack even harder. Or attack... Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, yeah. We can see Barra's supply limits. Uh, nope, they can't do that. They can't do that. They already have an army of three with the ships in the water, right? Yeah. They'd have to... They can't move the ships. So they're, they're limited. They can't make an army of three. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, okay. So what can we do? Three towers? We... Oh, Martel has a march right here, though. They have a march right here. And that march can go around. Can go around to Starfall. It can hit... Uh, uh, Yarnwood. It could hit these Kingswood guys. That might be funny. Who knows what these guys are going to do. I don't know. But I, I, I feel like they're going to come for me though. So I don't want to really want to spend this. Because I, I might want to come back in and try to take Starfall. But maybe I don't need to. Maybe that's silly. Hmm. Yeah, cancel the Siege Tower move. Yep. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that might be silly. Yeah, split reach would be easy pickings. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys going after there. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about this, them going there too. I just thought they would go to High Garden, but that's, yeah. Oopsie. Alright, so they're coming in with six on four defense. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, they can play that. And they brought all knights. Yeah, the reach is in trouble.
play castles. But am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose my guys though. Like, I can't retreat anywhere. Right? Like, I don't think the defense matters. Oh, I can move one guy, right? Oh, I can move guys here. I can, I can retreat some. I, I thought I wouldn't be able to retreat any because I was maxed out, but that is an army breaking up, right? So, But that'll stop me from mustering more. Uh, I'm going to lose guys no matter what, right? Because they, they have to go together. No, no, no! Oh, I thought I was choosing which guys to move. I just killed a horse. Jeez. Needs to be more, are you sure? Are you sure? Like, I know I, was, I read it as I was clicking and I was like, no, no, no. I was trying to drag off so I didn't click, but it still killed him right away. Damn it. Misclicks in this game are rough. Deanna Pittman, thank you for subscribing. Where's that going? Greyjoy's final answer. I think we're okay. No, we can't we can't muster anything. I don't know what we're I don't think we're gonna win this. There's still a chance, but man. Yeah, that was bad. Greyjoy was trouble, man. Er Oh, trouble. Yep, and these guys are fighting over the reach. Yep, can't muster at High Garden. Yeah, this is rough, man. Oh, I get to muster and I have nothing to muster. Thanks, thanks, game. Thanks. Woo! Uh, bid, uh, bid to defend against wildling attack. I don't know what this one is, but hopefully it's not one that destroys units. We're gonna lose. I'm bidding one. Martel's lowest bidder. Uh, everyone else, if they have more than one house card in hand, they must choose and discard one of those cards. Do I have more than one? Here's a card to discard. Or my zero, or whatever. Yeah, maybe I should have supported the reach harder there. I don't know. I don't think I could have though. Didn't they raid me there? No, they didn't have raids. Yeah, I should have supported the reach harder. Uh, yeah, that would have been better. Oh. Oh, I have points for C, right? And upgrades. Yeah, I just can't can't get single units out. I have one knight left. Probably should put it here. Could do one knight here, like upgrade this guy to a knight, or upgrade this guy to a knight, or upgrade this guy to a knight, and that is all. I think a knight on one of these two. Thornwood, Thorfall. I agree it's hard with the barrels, but I lost areas I had barrels that, like, we were doing other stuff, right? I could have went for Blackwater, but I, th I think Greyjoy would have just attacked me there, you know? Like, if I went for that earlier, like, we I, w I wouldn't have been able to hold Blackwater. That's even harder. Wildling bid. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> so I'm reduced one position on the supply track. Then reconcile my armies. Oh my god. This scenario is trash. Oh man. Yeah, if I had five barrels, it'd be huge. But, uh. What's happening? Destroying guys. Great. Final round. Can we do this? I don't know. I feel like I can muster at Old Town. Maybe get one guy in if I can spread out Dornish marches, but... Uh... Everyone has to stay alive, though. Everyone has to stay alive. The game lets you come 14 out of 15 and says nope. Yeah, but it's my decisions and our decisions we made earlier too, right? That kind of led to it. There was a spot where I kind of got surrounded and it got risky where I shouldn't have. I, I should have pushed for barrels a little more. Like the sea road marches. It's very contested, so I just stayed away from it. But really, I should have been kind of locking that spot in. Uh, or holding onto the Prince's Pass a little harder. I lost three towers at one point when I shouldn't have. Yeah, it's just hard. Uh, like, holding the Prince's Pass, I think, would have been the smartest play. Just have really, really focused on that barrel. Because if I could have got up to the five supply, like, man, I would have been... Those last couple musters, I, I got nothing out of it. And it could have been the game-winning muster. But because I missed on, like, one barrel, it's really the key. Push hard to take Martel's. Yeah. But last game, Martel was so vicious. And, like, they're building up again. But, like, they were so vicious. Kept throwing us to the bottom of the track. We couldn't... Like, if we went too hard at Martel, we wouldn't be getting star orders to play that often. That's what we saw happen. Port on Dornish Marches seems key. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that, that would have been nice. I should have put a support there. That, that could have helped me. That could have helped me. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Even if, even if I put a consolidate power down right now, I can only get one unit. One unit on the map. Yeah. Well, I, I can't win, right? I can't win. Gather troops in Dornish marches, play support, raiding then from Prince's Pass if they try to raid from Boneway. That protects a lot of other areas. Yeah, true. Reach Highgarden Prince's Pass. Yeah, so we can't we can't win, right? There's no way. Yeah, this is the final rounds. So there's no way to change. If you won that wilding attack, it was plus one supply. Yeah, that would have been huge. Huge, but I, I bet all three. Like, I, I bet all my power and I didn't even win. Because we couldn't beat them. They were too high. I think. Yeah, I think it is how you move up on the supply. I don't know if you can see the cards. That would be nice. No, you can't see those cards. Which is unfortunate. Reset time? Yeah. Uh, we have another stream in like two hours, so I'm going to go eat some dinner, set up for that stream. We're playing Lord of the Rings, Journeys of Middle-Earth. And uh, we're continuing our campaign through the Shadow Pass, so that's what we're going to be doing in a couple hours. So I'm not going to do another reset here, but yeah, that's that one's done. That one's done. <laughs> Let's just forfeit. Oh, that sucks. That hurts. That hurts. Yeah, man, that's uh, like you guys were saying yesterday that Tyrell is tough. I thought, oh, we we're riding on a high. We can figure out Tyrell. 
Even if it takes us a couple tries. No, it took us three tries and we got close twice. Because technically that time we got to 14. The time before if I would have played out the turn, I think I would have got to 14. Yeah, the first time we just started off really bad and made some dumb decisions. That one's tough. George, no, it's not your fault, George. You did some good. You got me thinking outside the box on the bidding. So some that bidding helped us get a good foundation at the start. But I feel like we were too strong in the front and we failed in the back end. I think you need to keep like a medium. We need to keep it like solid across the board. But I don't know. That was close. Now you know what Samwise felt carrying Frodo up the up the mountain. <laughs> that was close. It was awesome. Like I'm, I love playing this. I want to play it again right now. I really do. This is not making me feel too defeated. Like I, I'm kind of bummed, but I thought we could pull it out there. But even if we did, we still have the expanding influence coming right after. So is that one harder? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next stream I switch to a different house. Uh, when we play this game, maybe I'll play it again tomorrow afternoon. We'll see. But yeah, that was tight. That was tight. That was exciting. I like it. That one's a tough one. I'd be curious. Anyone watching in the future who has beaten this? Did you just keep replaying randomly, hoping to get the perfect draw of Westeros cards and your AI making dumb decisions? Or is there a strategy that just crushes a scenario and makes it easier than we're all realizing? Like, is there an obvious path that's like, oh, you just do this and focus on that and you win all, every time? I'd be curious to hear it. Drop some comments down in the video description. Let us know. If you're watching this in the future, check the comments. There might be some tips down there. Hopefully I can beat this one day. Uh, but I think we'll just move on to other ones for now for viewing purposes. I may try this on my own in the background. If I do beat it, I'll try to explain what happened. Maybe I need to keep recording it every time I try and then get a video up of how I beat it. That would be epic. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, hindsight 2020, of course, you can look back and be like, oh, if we did this, we did that. But it's all about like educated gambling and risking. You're, you're like taking educated risks, right? Like there's certain times where like I thought that AI was going to attack me. So I played a certain order and then they didn't. Maybe I would have been benefited if I would have been a little more risky at some spots that I was. So like I could have spread out more, stayed within my supply, wouldn't have my armies maxed out, would have been able to muster better. Man, that one is tough. You need to get to five barrels, hold five barrels. You need to get some extra castles to help you mustering, to get guys on the board. But yeah, that five army supply limit, huge. But yeah, anyways, love to hear the tips down below. Thank you everyone for watching us live. Thanks for all your support. Thanks to the new subscribers you just got. Thank you to uh, Andy yesterday for becoming a new producer over on Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, uh, you can donate. There's a link in the video description. If you want to see other playthroughs of this game, playlist link is also in the video description. You can see past uh, live streams. You can also see future live streams when I put them in that playlist uh, and schedule them so you don't miss them. I might be playing tomorrow. I'll decide tomorrow. We'll see how much time I have. Um, but yeah, uh, we might continue tomorrow. Maybe we'll try Baratheon or Greyjoy. I think Baratheon, though, we'll keep going in kind of an order. Uh, but yeah, thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. And I'll see you in a couple hours with the Lord of the Rings stream. Bye-bye.